Hello, hello. How you doing, you lovely people? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're going to take our first look at the, uh, well, kind of our first look at the dairy farm in the uh, Swiss region before we did a big old member stream, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, we kind of took a look around the area, and we've seen this map before in 2019, but it's uh, included in Farming Sim 22, and some of the new tractors and features are in this map too, like the production chains and such. So it's kind of like... Uh, farming sim 19 plus 22 so anyway good to see you all back thanks again for all the members being here and such we'll have ourselves a giveaway on the discord soon thanks again for hanging out smashing like and being with us as we continue our wonderful look at uh, farming sim first looks at a lot of new stuff here including all the new equipment uh the other new maps all the new production chains all the new crops all the new things to do so thanks for being a part of it well, uh, I guess we'll jump jump into uh, some single player, just kind of to take a look around, and then later on, if people want to join me, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll do like Harry or Jessica B or something, you know, our, our usuals. Maybe we can get Buford into it. But anyway, good to see you all back. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for all the support and whatnot. Exclamation point Discord, yeah, if you want to join the Discord, that's true. All right, let's go ahead and jump into a career mode, and let's do slot number... I guess we'll do boy, so many of these that we've been doing all sorts of different setups. So I'll just have to remember that it's save game number. We'll do seven. And it's just me. All right. So this is where we're going. We're going to Erl Erlengrat, which is basically like uh, kind of a, a faux, faux pas, fake, some, something uh, Swiss map. So there's dairy cows here, which means that we can make chocolate by uh, bringing milk and such there. Plus we can make cheese and other things we start with some cows too so we'll have to kind of find out a way to take care of them so um <clears throat> but jerry if you're watching feel free to drop in alex too or anybody else we can always use like an extra hand i don't think it'll be more than oh boy two maybe three would be like kind of stretching it but we'll figure out how it goes it's a good it's a lovely 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 map though i really like it that's why i wanted to play on it tonight and try some dairy farming which we can immediately start with so uh it's pretty cool Oh, yeah. You're new? Oh, welcome aboard. Welcome to our community. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Tan. Good to see you. Jax, welcome. Good to see you all. Let's begin. 
Alright, let's make a different character this time. I usually just go with this generic guy, but let's do, uh... Actually, I think there's presets, isn't there? Where's the uh, preset thing? Outfits? Oh, here. Okay, so we can pick an outfit. Uh, let's pick... Oh, that's like horse rider outfit. <laughs> it's a rancher. What seems like we... What, what would make us look um, like we were from the Alps? Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Go with a little bit of that. Something like that. Let's do a... Uh, Oh, Voltra stuff? Okay. Is there a way we can change the color of our shirt? Oh, select color, yep. Ooh, yeah. This looks way too baggy. What is up with this shirt? And this coat looks a little too... too much, too. This just looks like we're at our son's soccer game. <laughs> Picking him up from soccer practice after our ship da shift down at the uh, the hardware store. What the hell? Oh, maybe something like this. Actually, uh... Maybe that? Oh, the sweater. The sweater. The sweater. The sweater. The sweater. Alright, let's select a color. Let's go with a nice... Bluish color? That looks good. Khaki pants. Let's do khaki pants. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, did that... Oh, wait. I just saw something that looked like it had Swiss... Oh, Strauss. This looks like we're ready to go mountain climbing. I don't know if I like that. Isn't Strauss, isn't that what owns Levi? Isn't that a brand of Levi or something? Aren't they, isn't it Levi Strauss? Aren't those like two different brands or something? Yeah, look at the tights, yeah. This is for uh, horse riding, I think. Or something like that. We don't need that. But it is cool that we can like actually have that as an outfit. Like... I don't know if you can custom save your outfits, though, too, for, like, how you want to appear for each situation. Because it is pretty cool that, like, in some situations, like, if you're going to go deal with manure, you can literally put on, like, rubber boots and a bunch of, like, safety equipment and stuff if you're going to be dealing with that. Yeah, you can put a visor on, too, if you want to. I'm just going to go with, like, some generic boots. These are Elton, I guess. Those, some of these look too fancy. These look way too nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to put on some something like that. Th this looks fine. It's supposed to be a dairy farm after all. Am I starting a bear farm? Okay, have him have him banned. Oh no. Oh boy, now we now we look like a now we look like a fisherman. No, I don't want to confirm that. No. Okay, well, whatever. Hold on, there's a way to change that. <laughs> Wait, how do I change that? Uh. Wait, purchase menu. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lay lay farmer. Oh no, some of these look like. I like this hat, but let's select color. Oh god. And now we look like an Icelandic fisherman. I'm just gonna go with it. Wait, what if we go with, like, a brown cap? Forget it. That looks fine. Okay. <sighs> Have we tipped over the cows yet? No. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We want to do... Um, oh, times five speed. Certainly don't want that. Oh, no, that was going the whole time. I will right, put it down to half speed. Alright, so we're starting with $100,000. Um... So let's take a look at the map. So this is Elengrat, so we can do a lot, a lot, a lot of mowing here. These are like natural, like, valleys for, for taking care of cows. Beautiful. And this is where the farm is, so we got our dairy cows, fuel. Yeah, I look like Papa Smurf, yeah. So that's our farmhouse. This is the cow farm here. We have the electric tractor, so we can do cutting of grass. 
We've got a telehandler so we can feed them and make bales. There's got to be a baler then. Somehow, that's a plow. Don't seem to have a windrower. What do we have in our equipment? Uh, let's see. The equipment is windrower. Oh, we actually do have one. Okay. We'll have to figure out where some of that stuff is. Do the cows have any food? Oh, yeah. They start with a little bit of food and water. Oh, we actually have to give them water. Okay. So with the chickens and the sheep, we didn't have to give them water, but it looks like we're going to need to give the cows water. Oh, we have a fuel tank here too? Nice. Although it's empty. This is where we'll get uh, manure from. Or store it. That's nice. Don't want to go in there. Uh, silage. Bunker. We make chaff into silage. It looks like we can store crops here too. Oh, it looks like we have a tank for milk and a tank for water. So this is where all of our stuff is. Nice. So we have a bale handler, uh, I think that's a windrower, tether, forge wagon baler, and then milk and water. Okay. All right then. Well, let's go ahead and get started then. Um, oh, we have a little mower too. So I guess what we should do is go get him some water. Wow, that tractor is... Wow, that tractor looks massive. Tractor looks huge. Maybe we better use the little one. Yeah, we're starting a, a brand new farm. Kind of nice. Alright, so let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the... Uh, Pick up the weight. Cows won't need water when you build a cow barn? Really? I, I don't know if we can build a barn. According um, according to what I just saw, uh, the... Um, I mean, we have a water tank and a milk thing, so we must we must need to give them water because we don't have greenhouses or anything at the moment. Just me, yeah, just me. It's just a little farm to begin with, so we don't we don't need to do too much. I don't even know if we own any fields. Let's see. Let's see if we own anything. Oh yeah, we have no starting land at all and no fields. And the nearest field we could buy is like maybe field one. Oh, that's like double the amount of... Oh. Mm, yeah, there's not going to be too much to do here. I'm going to need money for uh, for some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, if we don't give them water, we'll end up with powdered milk. That's true. Oh, we start with a little maintenance bay here, too. Nice. So let's see here. Yeah, so the uh, cow pasture health is 100%. Food is 11,000 liters. Water is 12,000. And milk is zero. So milk must be auto... Oh, yeah, there we go. We got we to gotta deliver water here. And then we can order more animals here, but I think we're at our maximum. Yeah. Okay. So the plan is, we're going to we're going to need to expand our territory at some point. But for now, the best idea would be to make do with the land that we own, or make our own field in it. But the best thing to do would probably be to buy like field four and connect these two lands together. It looks like there's a lot of uh, looks like there's a lot of um, fields and stuff nearby. That we can go ahead and like cut a bunch of grass down on. So, tips for new players: uh, just start slow. I'd say. Where do we get water from? Then we can go down to the river. Yeah, we can go down to the river and see if we can get water. We'll go explore a bit. The map is absolutely gorgeous, so it'll be really cool to do.
We'll go learn where everything is in the map. Yeah, if we fill it from the water tank at the farm, it'll cost us money, so it might be a good idea to go down to the to the river and stuff. We'll have to find some shallow land to cross. Oh. That looks pretty shallow on the left side. Uh-oh. Are you going to do public servers like the last farming simulator? Where you been? We've been doing a lot of uh, wonderful member streams and such. Every couple of days we've been hosting one, so yeah, make sure you click or tap join. Hop on. Well, the other side looks like it's a little uh, more shallow too. Yeah, we've been doing some awesome streams with uh, wheat. Wheat harvesting will be our next one, but we've kind of explored this before with members. We've done a giant chaff load up. We've done uh, olive and uh, wine vineyards before. We've also done like a kind of a generic uh, logging thing as well. We've got a lot more plans coming up. We're just going to have to get a chance to do them soon. This river is actually pretty um, pretty steep actually. God, this map is gorgeous though. Alright, it might be more shallow on this side, so let's cross back. We'll go over this way. Fences along the whole way. Yep, you can drive the train in every map. The American one has its own train, and the uh, French and uh, Swiss map kind of have the same train. Yeah, maybe we got to go down to the coast. There's this whole fence line here. Plus, I don't know this map too well, so we're going to go look around for a little while. Until we learn. How's the, the Elton uh, boots that we own? A lot of these fields have uh, fences and such around them. Wow. Pretty. Oh, here we go. We'll also need to take some contracts and stuff, too. That's another thing that we could do, I suppose, is after we get, you know, a few, a few things stored up. What we'll do is we'll start... Uh, wow, that map's pretty. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Ultra Bob. Yeah, it'll be contract time soon enough. Oh, this is a pretty good area to dump into. Wow, look at, the refl look at that. The reflection on the water of the mountains. That is just incredible. Yeah, it's kind of a Swiss map, but it also kind of reminds me of like, uh, you know, the uh, almost looks like regions in northern Italy, too. New member, welcome. Switzerland and Austria is kind of, you know, it's a, somewhat of a, a little bit of a fantasy, but... Ah, oh, Mr. Thesis, welcome back as a raptor egg. Thanks for the support. Ah, what a beautiful place. Four-wheel steer steering on a tractor, that's very good on this map. Yeah, and that means we can ma really make some tight turns. Nice. We're hauling a lot of water now. 
Too bad it's not up in the mountains. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to farm up on a cliff. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be making some lovely Swiss chocolate eventually with our cows. We'll make some nice milk chocolate and such. Quality. Oh, there's a gas station down here too. Nice. Really nice buildings. They look good. Love all the bridges and stuff too. Very nice. Man, what a beautiful... What a beautiful map. Love that they gave us a sunroof so we can actually see it. That's nice. Also, this tractor sits so low in the front that it's, like, hard to see. Okay. Yeah, we're playing on PC. But the nice thing is is that now with crossplay in this game, it doesn't doesn't really matter. If you want to play multiplayer, you can play with a friend if they've got an Xbox and you got a PlayStation. You kind of all play together. Well, let's give these guys some more water. Oh, I think I want to, uh... Stay in the tractor, I guess. Oh, nice. So we have extra left over. Yeah, driving's easier with a controller, but I use mouse and keyboard as well. So it's like half and half. Nice, job done. Okay, well apparently we can go do some grass mowing. So after that, let's do some... Uh I guess we'll do some windrowing and make some, like, grass bales and feed it to the cows. Looks like our baler is probably going to be a round baler, so... And I don't, I don't see we have a wrapper, so this has got to be a... Is this a tether right here? Or a windrower? Um, I think that's a tether. Is this a wind rower? Pottinger top two, three, four, two. Let's check that. Uh, let's see. Wind rowers. We'll do tetters first. Okay, so the four, four H is a tetter, so this has got to be a wind rower. That's this one? Top 342 is a wind rower. Nice. All right. All right, let's turn off automatic start. Automatic start. Nice. Okay, so what do we have for property? So we own... Uh, 
Right, so we own this land. So we can mow up above the house or below the cow pen. I think we'll do... Let's take a look at it. Problem is, if we're going to have to make round bales, they're going to roll, and that's going to be a bad time. I think we'll mow... Down here. I think I own that land too, don't I? To the road? Yeah. Alright, so we own all this at the bottom. Bum, bum. Yeah, I've used a steering wheel before for farming simulator. I'm really preferring the keyboard and mouse. I really like that. Looks like we have a pickup truck too. I like the keyboard and mouse with the controller combo. We won't need that for a while. Maybe if we do... Uh, Something a little more heavy duty. Okay, let's fire it up. This tractor is actually electric. It's pretty cool. Yay! Timma! Thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Thank you very much for smashing that join button. Enjoy your time here. New favorite addition to it? I just... I, I'm really liking everything about this game. It's brought a lot of new people into it. It's got some new, great new locations. It's... You know, I, I don't know. I was I was getting a little fatigued, honestly, with Farming Sim 19. I was really... If 22 wasn't, wasn't as good as this is, I would have kind of been done with Farming Sim. So this was kind of the make or break for me. But I'm still not... I'm, I'm still playing this and I'm still not bored of it. Like, I'm looking... I'm looking to be bored. And I just keep getting more more and more excited about everything that I do in the game. So, it's like, wow. I thought I'd be bored by now, but nope. Still still having a fun time. Hi, babe. I think that was the wife. Okay. Oh. Lower it down. And fire it up. I don't know how, uh... I don't know how much we're going to need to mow to feed the cows, but... I guess we'll mow for a bit. Oh, it's like a Roomba. Actually having to turn the lights on down here because the trees. I want to try to keep it looking nice. Can you mow pedestrians? Well, I mean, if they happen to become grass, then yeah, I suppose. Some rough terrain down here. I think we're reaching the edge of our property, so I'm just going to turn around here. I'll just do the uh, the bottom flat section of land. I'm going to try to keep it at like five. This thing's really zippy. I'm going to actually have to like s go slow on purpose to actually control this thing. It's really fast. Yeah, what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef? True. Looks so therapeutic? True. This seems like a really good farm for, like, one person or, like, two and maybe three people. Like, I, I couldn't imagine more than maybe three people doing this because we don't, we don't own any fields at the moment. So, like, this is a really good livestock farm. But the American map seems to be good for, like, three, four people to start with. And the French farm could be about three, four people, too. But this one... Because we don't own any fields at the start, this is one where you can start alone and then eventually have friends join you, which is pretty cool. A cool idea. I'm just gonna mow down here. We're just gonna start down here. Wait a minute. 
Oh yeah, it's kicking out grass. Okay. Probably just end up doing a spiral around here. Uh, there's no real disasters to worry about in this game. Like, there's not going to be fire or avalanche or anything like that. But um, it does seem like this farm is trying to be a lot more eco-friendly. Like, dairy is still in demand, so people still want milk and cheese and ice cream and chocolate. But it seems like this farm is trying to be a little bit more like... Um, you know, we want to go more green, which is kind of cool. It means, like, we could, if we get all these cows, it means we could try to harness methane and use methane tractors. We could try to use solar panel, and this is, like, a really green farm, which is a cool idea, because it's, like, if we're completely self-sufficient, that means more money, right? We don't have to pay anybody else for our power. We don't have to pay anybody else for our, um, you know, to power our vehicles or anything like that. Let's we'll pay somebody for the repairs, but, like, we could sell back into the grid, and make even more money. Like, it's a, it's a smart idea. Maybe use some wind power. Solar's more cheap at the start, but... I'm, I'm thinking about doing this. This is just nice. After all the time with the boys. This is just like... The other farm was work. This is actually like pleasure. Oh, really nice. What happens if you drive in the water? Uh, nothing really. Most of it's shallow enough, but I think actually your vehicle will... It'll just, like, you won't be able to use it and you'll just have to teleport it back. It's not like it'll damage the vehicle or anything, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, this will take a while, but... That's what, uh... That's what hard work is. Can you mow and collect at the same time? If the tractor is big enough, yeah. We'd be able to put a mower on the front of this and then put a forge wagon behind. Uh, I don't think we have a tractor big enough to do both. Maybe we do. But this tractor ain't big enough for both. You like the mountains in the background? It is one of the more beautiful maps. All these vehicles actually have like some lovely little, uh, lovely little, um, like skylights and stuff like that. How long does it take for grass to regrow? Um, I think it actually is seasonal and will regrow based on uh, the time of year. So right now it's August, so it could possibly regrow in the spring. So maybe around this time next year it'll be about this length again. You know, it's not like a regular lawn. It's, it's pretty thick like pasture, so... But what we're going to do is we're basically going to store this grass. We'll get a we'll get a windrower out, and then we'll get a... Actually, I don't think we have to do a windrower. Well, we can make some bales. Yeah, let's make some bales. We'll do some uh, windrowing, and then we'll get a baler out, and then we'll make some bales. And then we can store the bales for the winter, 
so we can feed the cows year-round. Although, I think we might actually need to feed the cows... We might actually need a, a shredder to do that. We can just drop off the grass for them in a feeder, so... We'll uh, fill up the forge wagon so that way they have food year-round, and then we'll probably make some bales, and worst case scenario, we can sell some for a bit of cash. I think biogas... I think the economies are different in all the maps, too, I, I think. So, like, in other words, I think, um, like, biomass and biogas are much more profitable in this map, maybe? They kind of, you know, they all have a little different economy. Like, for example, this one's got a chocolatier at it, so you can benefit a little bit more from dairy. Although you can make dairy in all the maps, like cheese and dairy is a thing in all the maps, true. Don't use the silage pit, they're glitched right now. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of like There seems to be a lot of glitches and such here in this one for whatever reason. Minor stuff, but you know, it's not too bad. How's it going? It's going good. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I think energy is a really good thing in this map. Like, if you if you try to, um, if you try to do all the energy stuff in this map, you're gonna have a good time. So solar panels and then dairy. So electricity and dairy are gonna be two big ones. It's not really like any logging in this map. Not really any logging, and there's a few fields too. So if you want to get into like making uh, wheat, so that way you can do. Uh, total mixed ration you could do that and then grow corn too for the uh, the chaff and such as well so that's pretty good yeah biomass seems like a pretty good pretty good option to do for sure tons of logging at the bottom well I, I guess you could do logging anywhere there's a tree that's true but it's not like the American or the French maps where they kind of have these little forests that you can buy I mean, they do, but it's... Yeah. I do like, though, how on the maps you can do whatever you want. Like, if you'd like to, you can... If you want to do cows in the French map, and that's all you want to do, you can kind of work towards that a little bit. At a certain point, you can make the switch. Yeah, there's logging equipment in the game, yeah. Biomass is quite profitable. Wood chips, that type of thing. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, yes, the dino nuggets. Delicious. I think we can go a little faster than this. Let's zip it up to like. Maybe seven. I can actually hear the mower kind of struggling a little bit. How's it going? It's going good. Thanks for watching. Ooh, pretty. I guess there are a couple of trees that we can cut down here and there, but it's not its not like the American logging industry or the areas to log on the French map, but it's all good. Where's the recharge point for the electric? Uh, there might be some at the gas station, but you can, you can buy them and place them. We might have one on our farm to start with.
Ooh, nice. Very satisfying. Can you add more cow pastures? Yeah. In fact, this is land that we own down here, so we could we could build like another. Like actually, look, look at that. It's it's pretty flat down here, so we could build a, a parking lot down here. We could build a solar panel array down here. We could build another cow pasture or a manure storage, whatever we want to do. But for now, it's more valuable to us as a pasture. So that way we can feed the cows. Looks pretty nice, damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're playing uh, Lawnmower Simulator 2. Retribution. Well, believe it or not, I mean, like, this is part of farming, you know? Getting all the uh, pastures and stuff prepared. Yeah, it's a lot easier to mow with a controller, I think. Like, a, a keyboard is too... Um, it's too extreme. It's either, like, hard left or hard right, you know, when you're making your turns and stuff. So it's really hard to make those smooth turns. And a steering wheel, I guess, is good, but it's a little harder in the third person with a steering wheel. And I like to play the game both kind of in first person and third person, so... How do I like the graphics so far? Oh, the game's great. It looks beautiful. I would much rather have more gameplay elements and like more multiplayer things to do than worry about uh, graphics, you know? Graphics to me are kind of like... Um, they're, they're on the list, but they're like maybe 7, 8, 9 on the list and not like 1, 2, 3. But that just kind of came to me after experience, you know? Like the more and more games I play, the more I realize that uh, Battlefield 2042 certainly looks good, but it's got problems. But it's not, you know, game look good, thus game good. Uh, you can have as many cows on your farm as you do pastures. So right now we have 15 cows. But we're going to have to buy more eventually. So we gotta buy we gotta buy a bigger cow pasture. We gotta buy uh, more equipment to uh, take care of more cows, and more importantly, we need to feed them a more diverse diet so that way we can get better quality milk and stuff. Is there a pasture limit? I I don't. I don't, I don't know what the limitations are for buildings and pastures and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I haven't hit it yet, so I guess I don't know. Uh, if the slurry pit fills up, you still... Like, the cows will still make manure, but you won't be able to take advantage of it for using it as a fertilizer or... Or whatever. Oh, that looks damn good. Wow. Very nice. Wow, that turned out wonderful. That is beautiful. Yo! Sens, back as a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for the three months of support. Mode like a pro, like a pro bro. Well, I love that. Thanks for all the excellent entertainment. Well, thank you very much for uh, being a Raptor Ultimate member, and thank you to everybody smash and join and supporting the channel. Uh, we'll do some more giveaways and such on the Discord ASAP, and um, if you guys like what you see and would like to join along, I would love to have you on my farm, too, on, like, more more like Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll do, like, a big old wheat harvest, so I'm going to need you guys to help me out. So smash, join, become a member of the, f of the farm today. Another thing they added, too, is the... Uh, you notice how the the yellow bits are kind of flapping in the wind? That's pretty cool. Yeah, you get manure. And you can use manure as a fertilizer. And you can use... Um, you can harness methane as well. And uh, use that as a fuel for one of the tractors. Hopefully they add more uh, methane, methane-powered vehicles. That'd be pretty cool. All right, so now we're going to go get access to the, uh... Oh, what's up with that? Like a rough section there. I thought it was nice and smooth. Must have hit a pothole. Anyway, now we're going to go pick all that stuff up. 
I should go park this back in the barn, actually. How do you harvest methane? Uh, you can take it from the manure somehow, and I think... I'm, I haven't done it before, but I think you can build a methane fueling station, and then I think if you have manure, it'll... I can't quite remember how that'll work. I'll have to off to see. I have yet to uh, learn, but I think you can harness it from there, so... Thanks, Calvin, for watching. Alright, uh, we could use the big O tractor. But I think uh, this boy here will probably do it. I think windrowing will work nicer, so let's let's just try a little windrowing. Because we're also going to do some bailing, so... We'll fill up the uh, forge wagon. I think the capacity on that forge wagon is probably like 10,000 liters, so... No, I actually don't play a lot off camera, no. Anytime that I'm playing games, I'm either recording for you guys or hanging out in the live stream. Yes, this map is from the Farming Sim 2019 uh, DLC, but it had to be recreated in the Farming Sim 22 parameters and like engine and any other things that changed. They probably had to like, they probably salvaged most of the map, but they had to add in the new stuff. Like for example, um, you know, the new production chains and stuff. So some of the buildings have changed around a little bit. It might look a little different, but it's like 90% the same. Ooh, look at that. Damn. Well, let's start over here. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That actually has to be assembled. So we'd actually get out of the tractor and pop those on. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, we're not playing with any mods or anything. That's awesome. Oh, I see. It shifts it all over to the left side. Okay. Got it. Oh, I'm going to put this down on like five. We want to drive real slow here. This is going to be a tight corner to go around. Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, we can dry it if we want to with a tether, but we're just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to gather up the grass and give it to the cows from the forge wagon. But we have another pasture up top too, so we can, we can make all types of hay and straw and grass and, well, we, we need to own a field in order to make, uh, the hay bales, but. I don't even know if we have a. I don't know if we have a, a hay barn at all. I'll have to look. Yeah, this thing's really cool. It's actually nice that it's moving it from the right to the left a little bit to get it further away from the road. It'll make it a little easier for us to drive the um, forge wagon around. Look at all these birds. Get out of here, birds. Um, they haven't added the ability to customize your house. No, you, you can put your house wherever you want. Uh, like, for example, later on, we can take all the money that we've earned and, like, build a kind of a, a, a home away from home if we want to. Like, we can build a whole new farm somewhere else and kind of, like, have two separate farms where, you know, on one farm maybe we do, um, maybe on one farm we do, like, for example, uh, cows and the other farm we do, like, um, I don't know, potatoes or something like that. So you can kind of have them separated and store your equipment elsewhere if you want to. I know this we are missing a little bit, but that's okay. We don't need too much. 
Bum, bum. All right, so we'll make. Uh, I don't know what we'll do here. Okay, so we're gonna move the wind rose. O Maybe we can move the wind rose over one more. It looks like we're making kind of mini mini wind rows a little bit. Oh, that's a lot of. Ooh. I don't know why that's so stacked up. Yeah, by the way, guys, if you if you uh, are doing your own farming sim stuff and you want somebody else to play with, uh, feel more than welcome to jump on our Discord and, like, advertise the fact that you have a server, too. So if you want to host your own game or something like that, make sure you uh, jump on the Discord. Exclamation point Discord if you haven't already. Yeah, it looks like we'll miss we'll miss a little little here and there. But that's okay. Oh look at that, we're scooting everything into the middle. This is good. It'll make bailing a lot easier. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, by this we've stacked three rows together. It's kind of a cool way to do it based on the land that we've got. Nice. I think I'm going to keep scoot scooting it into the middle a little bit. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll have the forge wagon kind of drive down the middle, and then we'll leave the outside rows for the, uh, for the bales. Oh, you can post the fact that you're playing, like, in the general chat if you'd like to. Yeah, just feel free to, like, say, hey, guys, I'm playing on PlayStation or whatever. Like, my server name is this or whatever. You want to make a, a farm? Yeah, feel free to try to get multiplayer go games going on the Discord. Or on the TeamSpeak, too, if you have access to that, you can do that as well. This is nice. Yeah, we used to use that cow robot back in uh, Farming Sim 17. Oh, these rows are looking nice. Try to back that away from the trees a bit. Oh my! Oh, I'm am doing great. You can't wait till we build the big cow barn. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. It'll it'll take a while to get there. We're just getting started, but this is the start of something great. Move over farms. There is a charging station at the farm. Cool. Yeah, I figured you could, you could probably actually see it from the map, too. I, I think it shows where all the fueling stations are in the game for different types of vehicles you may have. Ah, Headshot Gaming. Thanks for clicking the tab and joining and becoming a member. Appreciate your support. I think maybe we could just turn everything into one long uh, windrow, maybe. Try to 
trying to take everything and just push it into one long row. That might work. Well, that might be too much for the forge wagon, actually, but... Wind rows are good, but you don't want them to be too big. There we go. Ah. Niwaya, thank you very much for upgrading to a hatchling. Thank you very much for the support. Alright, we'll do one more scootin' over, I think. One more scootin'. Oh, yeah, it's getting pretty significant over there. But this will be for our baler. It'll make baling a lot easier because we won't have to go as far. We can have more tightly packed uh, bales when they come out of the back end. Yep, Jurassic World Evolution 2 playthroughs on the channel. We've played uh, plenty of videos, plenty of live streams. You want to call your, call your cows by yodeling? The authentic experience? Well, that's pretty close. Are we going to play any Railway Online anytime soon? Our schedule should be down below in the description, and it should be also ac accessible in exclamation point schedule. So make sure you check that out to see what we're going to be up to next. And anytime there's updates, it will be updated on the channel, so make sure you check it out. we got a lot of games to play. But remember, everything's all based on, like, interest and availability and time and that type of thing, so. Or I should just say, soon. Soon. Check the schedule. Soon. Soon. I want to, though. What's up, Borbato? Thanks for tuning in. Call the farm the Wendy's Academy? Ah, yes. Like, Hogwarts School of Wizard Wizardry? Hog Wendy's? What's up, Mallory? Good to see you. Alright, now let's go grab the, uh... The old wagon. So we're just going to do grass at the start. It seems like we've only done about half the field at the bottom, and then we've got the entire field up at the top, too, so we can make... We can do some tedding, too, and make bales if we need to. There we go. Um, maybe I'll do the ba maybe I'll do the bailing first. Looking good. That is correct. I am I am looking very good. Just chilling, getting more cozy in this winter season, you know. But it's all good. You like the different farms you can make? Big, small, animal, food, wood. Yeah, th this is really a nice map for like a smaller farm for more. You know, like, no more than, like, three people to at least start with. Like, you can definitely make it a lot bigger, but, um... And do multiple farms, but... I feel like the American one is the best to have the most amount of people at the start, and the French one is probably 
uh, the m the best one for like having people in different areas where you can start. But this one is like perfect for like one, two, three people at the start. But uh, it seems like I could do the, all this myself, and then eventually we can expand to have more people with us. Uh, Michigan Jackrabbit, thanks very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. World War II games, check the channel. Video came out uh, just a couple days ago. After you guys subscribe, make sure you turn on the notification bell, turn it to all, and uh, always check the channel like every uh, six hours or so to see all the new content that's available. Well, good gaming guy. I'm glad you shared your info for your server. All right, let's make some bales. I'm gonna go real slow on this one. Let's just do five. We're not in a rush, no hurry. Now, how do I offload a bale? Unload Baylor's Y, so it's probably... Ah, oh, yeah. Perfect. Now, we can change the size of these bales, too. I forgot about that. Uh, but maybe not with this one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go with these small bales. Yeah, we can do automatic. Eh, I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on manual just in case. There we go. Nice. Get out of here, bird. Darn birds. Bomb, 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 bomb. Man, that is a lot of material to put through that machine. Whew. I love this map. This this will be just for you and me, chat. We'll just we'll just hang out here. This will be this will be our map. Very nice. We're just chilling, cozy farms. We're gonna have to uh, come up with a cool name for our farm that's somewhat like. Well, actually, we're gonna do chocolate here. So think about some good names, chat that are, that fit the theme. Like we're we're in Switzerland. We have cows. Uh, we're eventually going to make milk that will probably be so, uh, sold at a chocolatier. Come up with some good names for our farm. Yeah, I love I the map too. Enjoy watching your videos while also playing on my own map. Yay! Thank you very much, agency, for the uh, four ninety nine. Appreciate that. Willy Raptor's Chocolate Factory. Wow. Yes, I'm Wonka. Alright, we'll go down the windrow on the opposite side, then we'll go uh, see if we can fill up the uh, forge wagon a little bit. And Headshot, thanks for upgrading to a hatchling. Welcome aboard to a higher tier of support. The Winner's Circle. Willy Wapta, yeah. 
Will he or won't he? Alright, I think that might be enough bales to start with. Um, the rest I want to get loaded onto a forge wagon. For the cows. So let's go do that now. Good vibes farms, yeah. Well, it could be. Could do that. Ooh, new new pastures. Ooh. Past All right, that's that's what we're going to do. Pa Pasture bedtimes farms. Some of you here a little late. Some of you are up a little bit too late. Thanks again, chat, for 350 likes. It's very kind to everybody who uh, smacked that like button. Thank you very much. For showing your support. Thanks, chat. Yeah. What are we going to spend our money on? Well, that's probably going to have to go for paying for a few expenses. We got some good starting equipment, so we don't have to buy anything for a little bit. Maybe upgrading this tractor's horsepower if we can. It's pretty good, but it could be better. Forge wagons over here. Nice. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess in this farm we're we're in no rush whatsoever. Like going fast ain't gonna get us nowhere. Alright, so we're going to fill this up and then we have stuff to feed the cows. Gaming guy, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. Very nice. The other side farms. Yeah, honestly, you guys are going to come up with so many good names. I think we'd have to like rename the farm every three days. Just because of all the good names. Alright, let's deploy this thing. Let's do five miles an hour. Yeah, this is kind of the reason why I wanted to win row everything, although they, they were getting pretty steep. Oh, actually, I think we might uh, come pretty close to full. What do I think of the gear shift sounds and realism? I like the gear shift sounds, but I, I haven't done anything with the manual transmission yet, but I wouldn't be able to compare it to actual farm equipment since I've not... I've never driven any farm equipment before, so I guess... Um, I would have to like rely on people like Harry and... Uh, 
and Rick to say, hey, this sounds good or this feels good or something like that. We changed the name of the farm based on the plan. Well, right now we got we got no plans. Let's we'll have to call it just. What are you up to? I don't know, just chilling farms, because like we got really no uh, no plans at the moment. Well, we're gonna feed the cows. We got a plan. We're just going nowhere quick, and that's part of the plan. All right, note to self, next time we do this, we're going to either get a bigger wind rower or do more wind rowing. We'll also have to do some contracts too. Turning radius on that tractor is nice. Very nice. This tractor is great, like how, how tight of turns it can make. It's it's perfect for the size of the equipment. Like bigger isn't always better in these cases. Right tool for the job, basically. We're using a precision hammer. Oh yeah, we might actually get this thing full. It'll be close. It'll probably be like 80%. Will the electric run this? Uh, this piece of equipment? Maybe. I don't really know how powerful that is. I'll have to check the stats. Is that grass up there? Let's get all these little bits of grass. That I may have missed earlier. We won't get it all, but we'll try. Nice. Anybody watching from uh, Switzerland or Austria or northern uh, Italy in the uh, beautiful Alps region or the mountains, I should say. Just the mountains in general, I guess. Something quite special about this part of the world always seems like they're just they're just chilling. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, do I stream with Streamlabs OBS? No, just the uh, standard OBS. Oh, good. We have somebody from Austria. Wonderful. What a, what a beautiful uh, part of the world, all those mountains and stuff around there. Just the areas of, like, uh, you know, Vienna and, uh, you yeah, know, like, sec sections of southern Germany, too, and northern Italy, like... Uh, Oh, there's a city there that I always remember love driving through in ATS. It's just the whole beautiful region there. Not just not just the countries there, but gorgeous. Oh, good. YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? Glad we got a lot of Austrians here. Awesome. That's a it's a beautiful place. Even though, you know, this is technically Switzerland, but honestly, when I play these maps because they try to create a generic place that's similar to a few areas in the region, I always just feel like one minute I think Switzerland, the next I think it's like, "Oh, we're in Austria now." And then, "Oh, now we're in And then sometimes you feel like you're in the Netherlands based uh, based on the farm field, you look around and you kind of forget you're playing a game and you're like, "Oh, a Dutch farm would be cool," you know? Anywhere and everywhere is cool with me. Yeah, wherever the cows are always happy. Yeah, that's where we're going to be tonight. We work for the cows. Can we plant grapes here? That's actually a very good point, yeah. 
We could also, like, make some really steep... Like, we could pretend we were in a mountainous region of France if we want to. You know, just in our mind, like... New member. You know, Welcome. it simulates certain areas, but, you know, you can... It's your game. You can do what you want, you know? Like, nobody, nobody's going to, like, tell you no. Like, if you want to just plant nothing but potatoes here, and you want some challenging hilly landscapes, you do that. You're watching Philip from uh, Denmark? I miss Denmark. I've, I've been to Denmark a few times. The Danes are cool. You guys are just chilling. The Danes are chilling. The Dutch are chilling. Everyone's just chilling, man. We're just going to have to call ours, like, below zero farms. Everyone's just chilling. Like, just bring a coat. Sweden. We got Sweden checking in. Oklahoma, too. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to, uh, I'm definitely going to have to go to Switzerland and Austria and um, just the Alps region in general to see all the beautiful train lines and stuff. I just, even if it's just alone. It's one of those trips where I probably wouldn't say anything. Like, I'd go there and I would just be very quiet, not say much, show up at the train station, look out the window, and then come home. <laughs> at least that's how I picture it in my mind. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of Dutch, a lot of Danes, a lot of Swedes that watch the channel all the time. Germans too. A couple of French. Alex, for example, unfortunately. <laughs> can you cut and uh, collect at the same time? Yeah, you can. You you'd probably need a tractor that could run both uh, equipment. I think this tractor could probably do it. I just didn't think about when I started, but we can we can change our methods next time. All right, well, we got pretty close. We're at, like, at 90%. That's not bad. Co Croatia's checking in. Awesome. It's like the UN here. We're all just... We're all just gamers. All right, well, that's pretty good. I think we got all the grass that we wanted to get, so let's get out of here. We'll go back to the farm. I guess we could just drive up the hill. This is our land after all. We can... Uh, we'll just drive up this way. There we go. Ah, Finland is watching. There we go. The Finns checking in. Are you guys watching from the hot tub or the... I mean the sauna or what? I gotta go. I gotta go to a Finnish sauna. All right, let's feed the cows and then we'll store some of this stuff. Oh, good morning from the Netherlands or from uh, New Zealand. Awesome. Sorry, I saw NZ and I was like Netherlands. It's like ah, uh, nope, not quite close. Not really, but. Oh, excuse me. They might be full. Or do I... I pick up the dairy from there. Actually, maybe I pull up on the side. No, it should come out... Oh, wait. I know why. You gotta pull up, like on the side maybe well there's another space to put stuff right there we could build something right there in that open area so we could maybe squeeze in another um, another cow uh, uh, pasture maybe I think this is the smallest one you can put down
Okay, I think we can unload this, but only if they are empty. And I think they're maxed out, so... But we got food for them whenever, and then we'll go grab the bales now. No, the water one is marked with the water droplet. Uh, the feed one is the, uh, the dumper wagon. When we brought water over there earlier, we, f we dropped it off at the water one. Oh, you can't feed with a forge wagon anymore? Oh, really? Wait, do we have to use bales? Okay, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, no, one of those is a tether, the other is a wind rower. Bales works? Okay. Well, we'll try some bales. Um, from what I'm told, the, the, the bunker silo on this map doesn't work, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But when we cut more grass, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, do tedding next. Actually, is there anything in here? Let's see if we started with anything in this. Nope. Alright, so we got a plow. And then we've got the, uh, this is a fork. Oh, we have a bale spike. That might be a little easier, but this can carry, I think, two at a time. Uh, you don't need TMR to f uh, feed your cows, but it's the more optimal choice. Oh, the beacon, that, the beacon's on the other, uh, the tractor. We're gonna go pick up those bales now. We're just chilling, boys. Thank you very much for 402 likes, chat. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in the US or Canada too, last month. And or uh, if you're watching from anywhere in the world, which I'm sure you are, thank you for giving me your time and attention on our live streams i've been in, i've been really enjoying our farming sim stuff it's been awesome so thanks for being a part of it oh you're right we could actually put this thing on the back can't we hold on wait a minute wait a minute let's try this Couldn't we put this on the back and then put the fork on the front and carry, like, four at a time? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We might be able to... We might be able to do some magic here. Yeah, Chad, I didn't even think about that. I forgot this thing can go on the back side. Raptor, you're awesome. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. Ah. Aha. Now, wait. I need to be able to... Oh, I need to control the uh, arm. There we go. Woo! Oh, that's pretty impressive now. Yeah, now we can carry four at a time. Nice. All right, cool. Name the farm, no bears here. Wow. How about I name it uh, Bear With Me Farms? 
Chat, just bear with me, okay? Bear with me. But no bears in chat, just bear with me. Uh, this is the house you start with, yeah. I, I haven't built anything yet. We did some, uh, mowing of the grass, and now we're, um, gonna go grab some bales. We also have another mower, too, that's a walk behind, so. Hello from Norway. Hi, Frederick. Thanks for watching the Big O stream. All right, let's try to uh, let's try to back up into these ones. All right, let's learn how this thing works. So we need to lower it down, open it up. Beautiful, like a glove. Like a glove. Beautiful. Wow. That's cool. Uh, you can sleep at your house. Um, you should find, like, a little house icon on the map, and then you can skip a season if you want to. Or a day, or however you set it up. Just check the options menu for all the options. Like, you can skip entire seasons if you want to. Like, if you're playing alone and you only have one crop, there's no need to, like... You know, at the very beginning of the game, you might be skipping a lot of time, because you just don't have a lot of money. Boom, baby, look at that. Pog, lad. That's full pog. Full pog, baby. You're watching from uh, Tunisia, Mohammed? Thank you very much for watching. Oh, we can tip those forward. Nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Now it's got to be dead center. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Now there's something satisfying too about playing single player as well. For for everybody who's wondering, like, is this game fun and whatnot single player? I would say it's like it's more fun with friends, but it's more satisfying alone. You know what I mean? Like you. you Anything that you've done in this game alone, you know that you've done that completely yourself. But with friends, you know you did it through the power of teamwork and friendship. So it's like, you can have your cake and eat it too, I guess, in this game. Ah, Jessica B., hello. Welcome to the Big O Strim. We're in the uh, mountains of Canada, bud. This is uh, Mount Switzerland, located in Europe, Switzerland. In the middle of Canada. <laughs> eh, close enough. There we go. We'll be coming back for you later, sir. Oh boy. Yeah, it's very chill. Dr driving this slow like this, very, very, very chill. Yeah, when we get more money, that that's true. 
like we started with a few cows, so we definitely have a, a dairy farm to start with, but we can build and add on to it, so... Yeah, you're right, we can... Like this area that we just mowed, we can put down a couple of cow pastures, build a, a manure extension, and... We can build like silos too to hold food and feed for the, the cattle if we want to. So we can feed them things like grain. That kind of thing. Greetings from Greece. Thanks for watching. That's probably one of my favorite musicals. Wow, I didn't know you were actually in the musical. That's amazing. Wow. I thought that was a place, but... All right, let's see if the cows will take this food if it's bailed. But the forge wagon would allow us to get sheep too. We we could we could also do sheep, which would be really cool. You guys want this, huh? You guys hungry? We might need to give them uh, other things, too. Wait. Hmm. I think the area on the left is for manure. The far right side is animal management, water, food, and then I think this is for manure. Or milk on the other side, maybe, over there? Hmm. Uh, you can optimize the milk production of your cows by feeding them TMR, or total mixed ration. TMR is produced by mixing hay, straw, silage, and mineral feed together in a mixer wagon. As soon as cows and pigs are fed, they produce slurry, which is collected either in a slurry tank or pit. Adding straw to the bedding of a cow or pig enclosure creates manure for the farm. Oh, okay. So we're going to need a straw blower for that. A separate manure heap needs to be placed next to the barn via the build menu mode. Okay. So we can take advantage of manure if we blow straw in there. Ah, oh, here you go. Types. Uh, cows will take grass, hay, silage, and TMR. So we can feed them grass. And then from that, they'll produce milk, manure, and slurry. Different breeds of cows provide different amounts of milk and also achieve a different selling price. Brown, Swiss, and Holstein cows are used for da uh, dairy farming, while Angus and Limousin... Limousin? Limousin? Are for... Pro uh, bed, uh, bread for profit. Ah, oh, yeah, meat. Angus and uh, limousin. Total mix ration is the best food for cows and will maximize their milk production. So we can, we can give them anything. We can give them anything. So what do we have in there now? Oh. So we have a few that don't produce milk. So these boys are for the meat. And the Holstein and Swiss cows are for milk. Some of which are newborns. This one's literally zero. 
Chat, you have yourself a Billy. Deal with it. Wow, you guys let that Billy take over the entirety of the of the chat too. All right, let's go store these. We won't need these for now. So how do we give those guys grass? It looks like they can take grass, so do we have to feed them bales? Oh wait, what is this? The mods? That's you guys. You guys let a, a Billy do a full takeover. We have some pallets here, that's cool. You guys let a Billy do a full takeover on stopped. Drop it on the ground in front of the trough. I think I tried that. But I got some ideas. We'll try that, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to put, like... Maybe we can try to make money, too, off these. See how much profit we make. Fifteen animals, hundred percent health. The food is at eleven two fifty. That seems to be maximum again. Oh, they produce three liters of milk. Yeah, it looks like we have to give them uh, loose grass, but then I would I couldn't bring it over from the. Uh, if we feed them loose grass, it doesn't look like I could do it from. Um, I couldn't do it from the forge wagon. So we'll have to learn how it goes. Oh, you think they're eating from those bales? All right, let's do this. We'll leave the we'll leave these bales here for storage. We'll just store them here for now, these two. Yeah, if you, if you cows could go ahead and watch over that for me, that'd be nice. There we go. We'll leave those two there for storage. Uh, it says that they take grass. Yeah, we, ju we just looked at the menu for it, and it looks like they take uh, hay and grass and total mixed ration, too. So it looks like we can feed them a variety of, of foods. This game, you know, now that we're like, we're on Farming Sim 22, there really should be no more mystery. They really need to do a better job to just make it absolutely clear that there's never a question. Too many questions.
Alright, we'll put these away neatly. For the most part. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now that you mentioned, I do. I do remember we did. We did feed the the sheep as well without the uh, without having any sort of feed or anything like that. So I, I don't think we need a feeder. I think we can uh, use a, a feeder as a mixer for cows and for sheep. But I think we'll, we'll keep that forge wagon too, so that way we can make sheep as well. I, I'd like to do sheep too. It'd be kind of cool to keep a variety of different types of livestock. That'd be pretty cool. I wish I could swing that around, but that's okay. Alright, let's go grab the other bales. Or, well, I guess there's one more. <gasps> oh, I thought they made a mess on the ground. Well... If we look at the bales, this one's at 3,500, and this one's at 3,281. So it does appear that they're taking it from the bales. And this is it. So the maximum of the first level cow pasture with 15 cows is 11,250 liters of food. So if this goes down to anything below 3,281, then we know it's working. So we might be able to feed them from bales, or we might be able to feed them from uh, the forge wagon, too. But we're, we're going to keep that forge wagon for sheep. I think we could do that, too. Maybe we can get a little sheep farm going next to the cows. That'd be kind of cool. Because then we can start making uh, wool from them, and we can sell wool for quite a bit of money at the spinnery. And then we can eventually buy the spinnery and then turn that into fabric, and then we can bring that to the tailor. And fabric and clothing in this game make an insane amount of money. Although I kind of want to do cows too because, you know, having cows and sheep on the farm is pretty cool. Well, that's a good question. What is the difference between seedbed and cultivated on the map filter? Good question. Chad, do you know? Oh, I missed a lot of grass there. Love this tractor. Its turn radius is so good. I love this. Oh, a seed bed is from rolling, and that gives a 5% fertility bonus. Okay. And the bonus can be increased, too, if you fertilize or if you've uh, added lime, etc. Cool. Now, the, the only danger, I think, chat, I, th I think it'd be really dangerous, actually, for us to get a sheep farm. Because if we start getting sheep, chat might start counting them, and then you guys are going to fall asleep. And that could be that could be dangerous. That could just be very dangerous. Woo! 
Yeah, rolling will remove small rocks too. Yeah, it'll push them back down. Uh oh, chat's chat's counting sheep. Don't do it. Don't do it, chat. <laughs> Alright, so Well, they may take from that bale. We'll see. It's probably <clears throat> it's probably based on time too, and right now we have our time set to our time is set really slow, like to half, half time. I'll speed it up in a little bit. I wanted to try to slow down. Uh, what do rocks do? Sometimes they rock, sometimes they roll. I think they might also damage your implements faster and lower yield. Well, there's a lot of things, probably. It's just a good idea to remove them for immersion. Sir? I think we can do better than this. Oh, there's our little charging station. So that's where we're going to charge our electric tractor right there, that little... this green kiosk. Cool. Damn, this is cool. We're gonna get it all nice and organized. Chat, you're gonna be proud of this farm. It's gonna look real nice when we're done. At least when we're done with day one. Can you pay the DMV from the kiosk? Uh, yes. If you want. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, I would like this to move over a little bit. Thank you. Then if I can scoot it back this way. There we go, yeah. Got it. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we'll just tip these up. No, no. Let's let's put them like this. I wonder if there's a better area to store these, though. And we'll be doing this till the cows come home. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Well, then we're done. Perfect. Well, that was easy. But the cows always get a bad rap in that till the cows come home thing, but they were right over there, so we, we got lucky, I think. Oh yeah, goat milk. I, I bet there'll be a mod for goats. If you want to do goats or maybe... Oh, turkeys would have been a real cool mod. Nice. Oh, that was worth it. That was worth it, chat. Okay, so now we're done with uh, gathering grass. And now we're done with... Uh, gathering food and water for these guys. Uh, the game has chickens, cows, pigs, sheep, and uh, horses. You can also raise horses if you want. Well, they haven't taken from that yet, but they will soon. 
Okay, so they got water, they've got food, we've got a plenty of cows. Let's see if we could, like, maybe buy more cows now. So, we could add more, we could add another pasture. Or we could do sheep, we could do a sheep paddock for 51,000. Or a bigger one for 97. But that's not going to fit. But we could do a uh, 25 sheep barn for 51,000. Cows for 75. That'll almost fit. Oh yeah, that'll fit right there, okay. So we could do like two cow pastures together. Mm. Oh, it looks like we could also do uh, Oh, we can actually fit the, the sheep down here. Or cows, too. I would do chickens, but chickens can't eat grass, and we have so much. So we probably should stick to sheep and uh, cows for now. A sheep, starting sheep pasture is only 26,000. But we only get 15 sheep. This would give us 25 or a mat. Ooh, 65 for a large. Ooh. We could also take out a loan. And I think that'd be a great way to start making money. Because, like, look at how much cash we can make from uh, sheep, by the way. If we take care of the sheep, we could actually get... Uh, let's see if there's a pricing for wool. Where's wool? There it is. Wool will give us... Uh, not that much. 1664 Milk gives us 2224 so cows are a little bit more expensive. But if we go down the uh, if we go down the production chain, if we get wool, and if we buy the spinnery, then we can start making fabric. Fabric will then sell for ten thousand dollars at the uh, supermarket. So we can almost take out a loan and buy those and get a really good start. But we'll have to get a lot of grass because we'll have to save it for the winter because we'll need to worry about winters now. And then if we buy the if we if we make it a, a tailor or if we buy one that's 14,000. Is there a tailor on the map anywhere? Uh, let's see. Animal dealer. Lighting station and mill vehicle shop. Oh, there's the chocolatier. Okay, so we can make chocolate there. That's where we'll be bringing our uh, milk. Oh, there's multiple uh, lime stations. Oh, there's the sawmills. So there must be. <coughs> ah, up here. That's where we'll be doing our logging. Yeah, you were right in the south. Okay, that's cool. So there's got to be a... Okay, there's the spinnery. So there could be a tailor around. If not, we can make one. But I would say that wool would be super powerful as well. There's no cocoa crop? Well, I think we could make sugar. Where would sugar be accepted? Probably at the chocolatier. Sugar and milk, I think, can go there. Does it say what they accept? Let's go. Here's the chocolatier. Chocolatier for 50,000, no. That doesn't say what they accept, but we can check the list for it. It's got to be it's got to be milk and sugar. Sugar cane to Felsbrunner Market. Can we make that into sugar? Sugar beet. Uh milk. Chocolatier will take the milk. Or oh, what is this? What's a casserie? Is that like a marketplace? Wait, is that this building? Oh, this is a vehicle shop here. That's over there. Uh, Coco, doesn't it need a certain climate? Um, yeah. But that's why we can make sugar and we can make, um... Like, we can make sugar beets and we can make milk. But... Where is this building? Oh, it's up here. Okay.
Wait, is this chocolate? What is this building? Cheese. Oh, it's a cheese. Is that cheese? Oh, I get it. Okay. I see. I get it now. I thought this mountain was like... I thought, I thought it was like a piece of chocolate cake or something, but yeah, I get it. Swiss cheese. Okay, so... So it's like a, a cheese factory. Okay. Alright, so that's a... Uh, so we can bring our dairy there to make cheese. We can bring our dairy there to make chocolate. There. We can bring fabric. Okay, so cows and sheep are going to be really, really important here. And then, of course, these fields could also go for feeding them as well. Okay, let's go back up to the top. I think we should do sheep too. I think that'd be really cool. We can take out about a fifty thousand dollar loan or a five hundred thousand dollar loan, so we can get up to six hundred thousand. Uh, the problem is though, how much would sheep be or cows? If we buy more cows, each cow is we want to do milk. So milk cows are about. Well, this is how much they'll buy them for. Well, we could get rid of a few of these meat cows. This will give us money eventually these these are only for these are only for meat so we want to keep Holstein and brown Swiss for uh, milk cows and we want to get rid of Angus and limousine for uh, meat if we get rid of those guys that means we'll make more room for milk cows then we can make more dairy did they eat any of it not yet all right I think we got a plan I think we got a plan chat Looks like we might be able to build out there, too, a little bit. This is a really nice, very nice, like, small farm. I like this. We could also build this land. Oh, that'd be perfect, buying that land down there in that first field. Oh, man, look at how much. We could just make this a wheat field right here, and that'd be a lot of money. But okay, let's try to get started with a... Um... If we buy more cows, we should be able to feed them. Wow, 254,000 for a cow barn? Well, that's for 45 cows. Whew. Oh, there's a cow barn with the feeding robot, actually. I thought that was a mod. Oh, so you can get the feeding robot attached. So maximum cow barn is 80. You can get the 80 with the feeding robot, too. That's cool. Okay, well, I think we better start small, though. So, I think we could try to put a sheep barn up here, too. Or buy the field next with us with a loan and build down here. But I want to try to use all the space. I want to try to like use all the space. And sheep sound pretty good. To start with in, in addition to the cows. 65 sheep though. Okay, let's see how much sheep would cost us. So, ooh. Wow. Fancy building. So to buy sheep... Oh, I guess we have to have the building first. Oh, you don't tell me prices, though? Hmm. Yeah, if I'm assuming if you have a maximum cow shed, they won't... Cows won't breed anymore. So you, you could start with, like, a, a small pasture with, like, two cows, and then eventually two will become, like, four and whatnot. Two cows could be four, and then you could buy a few more, and then... I, I wonder if you can move them around to different barns. Do you guys know if you can, like... Like, what if... If we had... We have 15 cows here. What if we wanted to, like, delete this... This pasture, right? Like, is there a way we could load these 15 cows onto, like, a truck? And then, like, delete this pasture, build a bigger one, and then, like, offload them again? So, like, if we wanted to go from 15... Is there a way to take these 15, put them onto like a couple of truck trailers and then build like the cow like the cow barn in its place and then offload them again? 
Do they give milk without milking them? Milking is automatic. That's not something you have to take care of. We could do another... Sh oh, man. We could do another cow pasture. I think we should do that. Let's do this. Let's save. And let's try a cow pasture. And if it's if we don't like it, we'll, we'll try something else. So let's turn off autosave for now. We're going to experiment a little bit. Because the game doesn't really do a good job of letting us see everything until we buy it. So let's do... Oh, there's contracts to do, too. Yeah, that's a pretty good contract. Hmm. Yeah, there's a cow tr uh, that... Yeah, there's a trailer that transports 12 at a time, so that's cool. I want to save, though. Where the hell? Okay, there's save. And then let's do auto save off. There we go. There we go. All right, let's buy a new cow pasture. So we basically just extended this one. So now we have a double. So then if we want to buy more cows... And we can have the cows delivered for free or eventually we can buy equipment uh, to transport them. So that's kind of cool. So we can get a bunch of milk cows now, right? A couple of varying ages of cows. Let's buy... Hmm... Oh, okay, so you can buy them 0, 12, or 18 months old. So 18 months must be the uh, oldest um, that they can be for milking. Let's start with the milk right away. So our transport fee will be fifteen hundred dollars. Not bad. Okay, nice. So now these are all uh, these are all for milking cows. Then we can sell these other cows. So we can do Holstein's. You know, we can do the Gateway Computer cows here. <laughs> we'll do Gateway Computer there, and then we'll do Holstein over here. Or um. Swiss Brown over here. Cool. All right, we have $89. We can go and have everybody in chat can have one thing from the dollar menu to share. All right, let's do a little more landscaping and we'll paint some of that out. There we go. That's right. We'll be taking out a loan shortly anyway. We're not we're not going to get very far without borrowing some money. Cool. Let's get these guys fed then. Uh, where's the uh, hay bale we had? Is it still on that other vehicle? Oh, yeah. Wait, where did I put that extra one? I guess I put it in the stack, didn't I? 
Eh, we'll just take this hay bale and bring it over there. Dude, you're getting Adele. All right. So let's get that transported over there. Bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah, we should probably uh, we're gonna separate. Well, see what we'll do is once we get once we get the chocolatier built, uh, what we'll do is we'll then start transporting it the chocolate back here and then feeding it to the cows and that's how we can make chocolate milk I think or is it, it or do brown cows make chocolate milk I forget I forget how it works we'll figure it out though All right, let's go grab that water tanker so we're gonna give the other cows food and water kinda cool that we can start with pastures and build like two of them next to each other eventually what we'll do I, I hope we make money back for putting those down but what I'd like to do is then eventually make another cow barn over here so like take a look at this we can buy this land and look at how much flat space we have to build here so then what we can do is we can take all these cows bring them down here we can do like we can do two medium sized side by side barns and that'll probably give us what 160 no 45 so 45 uh, times 2 so we'll get 90 cows we can get 90 cows down here, and then we can put manure and other storage and stuff down here. And then we can change this area from cows to sheep. So we'll get rid of these two pastures. We'll do a sheep farm up here. So we'll do sheep and then cows. So cows down here, sheep up here. And then we could probably expand our uh, like storage and stuff too. Make a bigger storage area. That'll be really cool. Have we used the bees? Yep. Yep. For those of you guys who haven't subbed yet, by the way, we've been making an incredible amount of content. We, we got we got into this game like days before it came out. The developers sent us keys and such. So we've been playing for a very long time. And uh, it is awesome. Very fun game. Very fun. If you haven't played this one, you're going to love it. It's really good. Yeah, true. You have, to, you have to shake the brown cows before you milk them. Otherwise, all that chocolate... You're just going to get... Just like, well, that's how Hershey's, like, the syrup is made, right? Yeah. And if you don't give them water, then that's how powdered chocolate is made. Like for hot cocoa. We've learned so much today, chat. So much. So many facts that we've learned. Your son wants to buy this game now because of me. You and your son should both get this game and play it together because it's a lot of fun. And if you're not any good at this game or whatnot, you can. There's like cheats and stuff that you can enter, kind of. They give you like unlimited money, so you can learn. Like a part of it is also like learning how these farms work, or how farming in general works. Oh, look at that! Did you see that? This. The, the bale just disappeared, so grass bales can be delivered to the cows like that, and it'll fill up the troughs. Confirmed. We got it. And we're giving these guys water. Cheating sounds perfect. Well, to be honest, it's your farm, too, so it's like, I mean... If you really want to just build a beautiful looking farm and drive around it and that's what you want to do and you buy this game, like it's your money and it's your game. So it's not like, you know, cheating would be more like, um, you know, if you're playing Fortnite or some other horrible game and you've done something to manipulate the game in which you win over skill other, over other players and you're competing, that's not fun and that's not fair. But if you're doing it in a single player game, it's your game. So you do what you want. Alright, what, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go get some more water. We're going to feed up the other cow... Uh, we're going to feed up the other cow uh, paddock now, or whatever you want to call it, pasture. And then we're going to... Um, yeah, we're going to get them both to 100%, and then we're going to start making milk. Then what I'll probably do is take out a loan, 
And then we'll get the sheep fed too. So we'll start doing sheep and cows together. But we're going to have to do something else to make money in the meantime. So we're going to have to find some other way to make cash. Yeah, we have a water tank. Using that, though, costs money. Which we don't have. So we're just going to go find a river. Oh my god. Oh my... Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my... Oh. And we're good. Saved. Wow, if anybody was actually watching the stream, that would have been embarrassing. Do I have mods? Yeah, Pinto's a mod. Alex is a mod. I think Jerry and a few other people could be mods, but the community's pretty well behaved. We don't really need don't really need mods. Ah, yes, winter logging would be cool. You subscribed? Well, thank you. Yeah, but to actually answer your question, no, I'm not. I'm not playing with any mods. Just vanilla. Isn't this beautiful? There we go. Yeah, the the map is gorgeous. Like look look at that. Anybody who says the graphics are bad, it's like, okay, sure. If these are bad graphics, then I don't, I don't want to play a good graphic game, because this game is fun and it looks nice. Yeah, I would, honestly, I'm going to probably wait a little while till I play with mods. One, to make sure there's more mods out. Two, to make sure that they're quality. And three, because I want to play the game without mods first and, like, you know. Like, if, if they're asking you money for the game... If they're asking all of us to pay to get access to the game, then they should make the good a good game, not just like a platform for mods to be added to. But I think this is both. Honestly, Farming Sim time and time again has always been a steadily improving game. That's also been steadily improved with mods, like the modding community. And sometimes the modding community can work around like licensing fees and such, right? Like, not until the last Farming Simulator did we have John Deere. John Deere was not in Farming Simulator until officially until last year or the uh, last model 2019 the last game and so if you wanted to play you could only get in you could only get John Deere tractors with mods now now they're finally in the game officially but you can still mod in tractors that are old or new or obsolete or whatever or no longer sold or a different version of the tractor you know you can put like 10,000 horsepower on it if you want, or some, some crazy thing. Is there a lot of differences between the games? Well, uh, yes and no. I mean, it's a farming simulator game, and so the equipment is the same, the method of farming is the same. Like, a lot of the stuff is the same. But also, it's, it's different in many ways, too. I think this is different enough to where it's like... Look, if you've never had a farming simulator game before, I would say this is the best one to get into, even though 19 is like on sale and stuff because of Steam. This one has cross-play, and there's a lot of ton of people to play with, so I think this is just great. I've, I, I've really enjoyed playing this with like Alex and uh, Harry and Jerry and stuff, and I hope we keep on playing some more. 
There you go, cows. Boom. And now water. When does a mod become a cheat? I guess you have to decide that, you know? Like, it's your game. I mean... Like, if you want to... If, if you have this game, and you have a... Tr if you have a farm in real life, and you want to only use tractors that you have on your IRL farm, and so you delete all the tractors, and, like, the tractors in your real-life farm are, like, $50 million worth of equipment, and you want to cheat in $50 million and a bunch of mods to simulate your real-life farm. Just like how people build their own house in The Sims, like... Ones in chat, if you've played The Sims before and you tried to recreate, like, your house or a friend's house or your neighborhood or a house you grew up in or, or like, your apartment, like, it's the same in Farm Sim. Like, there's tons of people who farm in real life, and so they want to recreate as close to the, as they can with mods and stuff, their own farm and stuff, to see if it works, so. It's cool. That, that big tank there is for uh, water. But we'll get to that later. Alright, well I think we'll put the truck away. And I think we'll keep going and mowing some lawns then. Because we're going to need... Uh, if we're gonna get a lot of sheep and if we're gonna get a lot of cows, man, we're gonna we're gonna need to uh, get a heck of a lot of bales to feed them. We've got three in storage, so we've got what thirty cows? Yeah. And what what's the food at now? Eleven two fifty. Now we can't harvest. Um, oh yeah, this one's not even full. They've only got six thousand. So, um, so we need to get these up to max and then store a lot for the winter. So we better get to mowing. So let's make some bales. We'll use the electric tractor again. That thing's cool. Um, I'll need the baler first, so... I guess we'll take this off for now. Oop. There we go. Grass has two stages for harvest. Um, well, cut grass and then you can windrow. And that makes bailing easier. Yeah, we're going back to Lawnmower Simulator. Well, that's what cows eat. That's what we got to do. And if we keep these cows happy, and if we get enough of them, we'll get a ton of cash. And we'll be able to uh, make a lot of money to expand our farm a little bit more. Looks like there's a nice area over there for loading stuff. Well, in this DLC, we kind of start with, um... Wait a minute. Let me see where I want to mow. Kind of already mowed down there, so I guess we'll go up top. What is that? What? Wait, what? like openings in the fence with mud. Why? That's weird. Out of the way, bird. Whoa. Oh, 
Uh, the milk is automatically stored at the um, chocolate milk runoff. Uh, the milk's automatically stored at the cow pastures till it hits a certain max. Though I don't know what the max is for the cow pasture. It must be a couple hundred, maybe. Well, if we're gonna make TMR, we also need to have corn. So we gotta make silage from chaff, and we also need to buy. It's gonna be expensive. We also need to buy mineral for that. So that's gonna be like a very end game thing. Oh, that's cool. Let's get our other tractor. We can also use this thing. We can actually push this around in third person if we want to, but... I guess that's to get into the harder to reach places. Okay, we'll mow the top part of our property now. Let's go. So we're just going to be making bales, bales, bales to feed cows and uh, sheep. That's some rough road. No, this thing probably won't be able to pull the baler. But we'll do windrows and stuff. It makes it much easier to make cleaner bales. Oh yeah, that's true. We Yeah, we can make silage from grass. That's true. We can get a bale wrapper and do that. But we also need to make... Um, well, we need we need that mineral too. So and we need we need to buy a mixer as well and you know how that went when Facebook bought that. So it's going to be quite expensive. Why does it drop thing in like ma massive piles like that? Maybe we just can't mow too close to the road or something like that. Let's let's mow a little further away from the road. I think we can mow all the way up to the fence. Pretty sure we own that land. That's what Raptor likes the most, mowing grass. Oh, well, yeah. Raptor's in the tall grass. You, you know what it is. Y'all know what it is. We'll just mow a little further from the edges. Ah, nice. Nice. Alright, so now the goal is to mow all the grass and then start making uh, grass bales. It's going to be a long day. Well, let's speed up time a little bit, too. We'll go to actual one. Ah, we'll go to one now. How do I uh, turn that up? There we go. Perfect.
Man, that mower can really uh, take down a lot of good grass there. That's pretty steep here. I don't want to I don't want to get too close to that. Those bales are just going to roll downhill. <sighs> that is chill. Uh, that fence was there to begin with. I think that does show the edge of our property, but eventually we can buy the property by beyond that. We just need money. Yeah, we'll save a little bit of grass for if we want to make hay. Eventually we'll need to make straw and some other stuff. We'll need, we'll need to do it all. Eventually. It's going to take a while, true. Well, farming does. Oh, you want spin tires mud runner uh, physics in this? Oh. Yeah, I kind of want that sometimes too, and then I think to myself, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we can turn auto save back on. Good idea. I think we're going to go with that. I think we'll go with that. I'm pretty happy with those cows. Then eventually we'll get rid of those uh, cow pastures and we'll do um, sheep up there. We'll move them downhill. So for now, the goal is going to have to be to make money through dairy. And I'm really... I think that's really cool how they gave us a setup like one for, you know, farming in Europe, one for farming in America... Both of the Europe and America maps kind of are more for like generalization, but this one's cows. And we're going to make a heck of a lot of hay bales here, or grass bales. Bales in general. We'll do some other stuff too. We'll feed the, uh, the sheep when we get them. Probably take out a little loan. Pretty.
All right, we'll pick up the pace now. We're doing eight miles per hour? Eight miles per hour, Marty Poglad. Eight miles per hour. Yeah, that's some, some pog lad right now. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to get so much grass that we could sell grass. That's true. We could do that. We could do baling and sell bales as well at the bio uh, gas plant. Or biomass plant, too. You know, we can do silage and do it that way. However... If you need a translation, just ask. I'm German. Sure, we've, we've been coming across this symbol, and I don't know if anybody in chat knows what it is, but it's like a... It's like a white triangle with some letters in it that are... It's like in a blue shape. Uh, apparently, you can click or tap it in order to become a member today. Uh, it's found next to the subscribe button. And apparently, it, there's also like a link in the description that links to our Discord where we do giveaways and such. Very strange. Anc ancient text, perhaps ancient scrolls. So if anybody could take a guess at what that what that join button possibly does, I I don't know. Maybe it's lost in translation. Who knows? How many laps until we have to pull in for new tires? Who knows? This this thing's zipping along pretty good though. It won't be too long until we're done. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but we're actually going along pretty good now. But this is what happens when you're doing it alone as a as a fresh start. That's just that's just bitness.
There we go. Just cutting this off to make it a little easier. Looking good. That section is going to be messy, but that's just how it is. Alright, on our way. Let's go. There we go. Man, we're leaning. Doing that Riker lean in this thing. That Riker lean. Woo! <laughs> Making this as... Want to, uh, watching this is making you want to s sneeze because of all the grass? Yeah. I can imagine that. Wow. That'll make you want to sneeze seeing all that. Look at all that. You can kind of see the dust flying up from it, too. Yeah, you can see all the, the grass flying up in the air. Oh, this is nice. Do I get any sleep after the stream? Well, yeah, I go to bed for about eight hours and make dinner and stuff. Yep, there's always plenty of time for that. I know, save my farm, chat. We only have $42 on the farm. I need somebody to buy a gallon of milk. Or a liter. I need someone to purchase a liter of milk. Oh uh, yeah, you'll have to pay for maintenance. Uh, on the right side of the screen, uh, down below, there's a little yellow bar. That's our maintenance. And so the tractor and all the equipment that we use will have to have maintenance performed on it. And also... Uh, this tractor is electric, so it requires a battery charge. So the little green bar at the bottom on the right side is uh, actually uh, an electric um, like charge for it. So we can go back to the electric charge station and charge that up. It'll cost us money. Same with uh, the tractors with fuel. They'll cost us money, too, to like go to the gas station and fuel up. And um, it's actually really cool. Um... It kind of depends on how much you use the piece of equipment. Obviously, things that are more, um, you know, things that are more used and kind of more like, um, it seems like a trailer. If you if you use a trailer a lot, it's not going to take as much damage as if you use like a cultivator or something that's constantly like slamming into rocks and soil and things like that and getting a little beat up. So it looks like they've done a pretty cool job with the maintenance in this game, like making trailers that you just drive around with. They'll get dirty. You have to wash the equipment too, so that's pretty cool.
Yeah, the first thing we'll end up selling is probably the... Probably, like, the milk and stuff. Because we, we want to make sure we have enough to feed our cows. Otherwise, they won't die in this game. But they will... Like, if their health reaches zero, you still get the cows, but you don't get milk. So it's like your financial... Uh, your your money is going to be the problem. I guess it's kind of more of a... It's not tr I don't think it's tried to, trying to be nice to the cows... It's more like trying to be nice to you for, like, failing to feed them and give you, like, an extra chance to learn. I mean, the game, the game's rating is for, like, three-year-olds and older, so they're trying to be nicer to, like, the kids who might not know how often to feed a cow or whatnot. Like, not everybody's going to know what cows eat other than, like, maybe hay, but then they might not know how to get it. Like, how do you get hay? They might not know. Uh, I don't think we can get AI to do contracts, but we'll definitely take a contract at some point. But we're working our own land for now. So we're, we're going to mow all this up, and we're going to start making bales. We're going to store them all, and then we'll start doing some contracts. This is a lot of fun. I, I think um, starting tomorrow, Rick is going back to work full-time again. He, he took the entire week off just to play farming sim with us, which is he's a champion. And Harry took the some time off work, too, to play farming sim as well. And uh, Jerry joined at the uh, weekend there, and of course we had like uh, the weekend off because of Thanksgiving. But starting tomorrow, it might just me be me on the farm. So we we might we might go do this one. We might do this series a little bit more throughout the week, and then we'll do uh, our little friend farm on the weekends or something. And then all of you guys who just became members and such, another extra perk of being a member is we will do well. Not only are we going to do giveaways and such in the Discord, but I also want to do uh, some farms with you guys. So if you've wanted to join me. I think on Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, some sometime throughout the week in the PM, or maybe on the weekend, may, maybe we'll do it on the weekend, we'll do like a big O, so that way everyone from like Europe can join, maybe we'll do a, like a Saturday morning, so, you know, the Americans will have like likely, more likely to have the weekend off, possibly, and uh, in the AM more Europeans can join as well, so I want to try to try to do as much as I can for you guys who are members so you can get a chance to join, so... We'll do a giant wheat harvest, and that's going to be a big O. It's going to be really cool. But this is, like, ultra chill. Like, what a beautiful game this is. Yeah, Rick is the true gamer. The, the man took time off of his farming job to do, far <laughs> to do farming. That's how you know he's a pro. That's like having a doctor take time off being a doctor to, like, go play a doctor game or something. Oh, yeah. Now yeah, maybe we can ask Alex to join us, too. The AI will do contracts? Oh, that's good. They'll take some of your money, though, so if you if you want to make more of the money, just do the, do the job yourself. That's all right. If we really want money, we can just take out a loan. And if we really, really need money, we can always just cheat just to keep the series interesting. But I don't think I want to do that. We'll take out a loan, for sure. That's realistic, but... As for cheating, eh. Unless something happens and, like, like there's a glitch or something. We've done that in our previous, you know, our realism game where we haven't cheated in money. We did have to cheat in some money because we were completing contracts, but it wasn't giving us the cash for it. And it was, like, the only way to go forward. So we had to, like, we had to do something, uh, financial correction or something. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever. Whatever you want to call that. What about us Americans? Oh, like in the AM on Saturday. Like, Americans are more likely to be on... You know. The weekend, everybody's likely to be off work. And in the AM, it'll benefit the Europeans and stuff. We'll, we'll try to keep moving things around. You guys will love it. I guarantee it. Ah, Sensei with the 10. Thank you very much for the big O support. Thank you very much. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like we're about halfway done. It'll go faster than you think. Don't worry, I'll do the driving. Thanks again, Sensei, for the uh, for the big O10. So is this a dollar to the farm's bank account? <laughs> JK, can't wait for the delicious Swiss chocolate production. Well, we'd be up to $52, so that's at least enough to buy everybody... Well, we'll buy a couple Happy Meals, but everyone in chat's going to have to split. A couple fries here and there, maybe a bite of a burger. We're going to have to share. Dibs on the toy? I know. I, I loved when they did the Hot Wheel cars many years ago. I, I really loved when McDonald's did like the Hot, Hot Wheels uh, car sets and all that stuff. It was really cool. It's probably my favorite McDonald's toys that they ever did. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to share my fries. No. Oh, no. No, I'll keep, I'll keep my fries and probably take some of yours, Chet. Them's the rules. How does the game feel after paying fifty nine ninety nine? Well, um, I mean, I got my copy early from the developers as kind of a press review, but I've never really done a review on it yet. I'm still kind of like playing it and feel, figuring it out. Um, but this map is freaking beautiful, and I think this is a, a gorgeous game. I think it's a lot of fun and very rewarding to, to grind it out. I could totally understand this game being mind-numbingly boring and not interesting at all for a lot of people, and that's totally fine. Um, but also, I think this game, as I mentioned earlier, is really... It's fun to be able to coordinate and cooperate with your friends and people that you really, you know, game with and, and connect with. But also, it's very satisfying to play alone, too, and build all your own stuff, so... Um, and there's tons of mods, and there's ways to be all crazy and, like, you know, race monster trucks. And there's tons of mods that are out and tons of mods that are coming. But um, overall, I, I think this is a game where, you know, if I explain the words farming simulator to you and you go, eh, then you're probably not going to like it. But if I say farming simulator, you're like, oh, that could be cool, then you're, you're probably going to like it. Um, but I think the Steam reviews for this game are, like, very positive or, like, pr pretty highly well received. So it's not like this is the first game they've ever made. It's it's always a hit, and people always love it. So I'm happy to see it back, and I'm glad that it got people, uh, like, for example, Alex and uh, Jerry and Harry and stuff, either into the game for the first time or back into the game. So it's nice to... I mean, Harry, Harry for example, you know, Poglad, our Poglad emote, that kid's 17 years old. He joined this community when he was 8. <laughs> because he wanted to be in, like, a farm sim stream with us, like... We were, we were just playing Farming Simulator, and he's like, Can I join? And we are like, Yeah, sure, whatever, kid. And now, like, ten years later, or almost ten years later, you know, he's a farmer in real life and stuff, and he, he just likes the heavy equipment and whatnot. It turned out to be a, a good uh, stand-up, honest, uh, and just, like, decent person. So it's kind of cool how it's, like, it's attract it, it, it attracts people young and old. People of all ages can work together. This is a great... This is a great game for families and, you know, for kids and stuff like that. And Yeah, but I, I Shrike, for example, too. You know, there's a lot of people who just wanted to play this game with us. And eventually they, you know, got into our recording series that we were doing, having some fun. And now we got some cool memories out of it and some cool friendships. Like, we're, we're friends. And we just like games. It's like, cool. It's like, oh, dude, you like games? Oh, me too, dude. We should play games together. Oh, this game's cool. That game's cool, too. Let's play that game. Oh, that game's cool. And it just goes on over and over and over again. Bum, bum, bum. But this game is definitely a good pro uh, procrastination simulator, that's for sure. Poglad, po Poglad, Poglad. Well, you know, interesting, another, another game came out earlier this year. One's in chat if you guys saw, uh, what was it called, Lawn Mowing Simulator? That game came out earlier this year. All you do is like mow people's grass and like it simulates a small business and it's like 
Those games actually could get people into the small business and stuff. Like, millions of people are playing this game right now. There could be a lot of kids out there who are eventually going to get into uh, farming, and they're going to love it. And they're going to, like, get a job being a truck driver or heavy equipment operator. I mean, it's farming isn't just tractor. Sometimes farming is tractor trailer. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, maybe they'll work down at, down at a grain silo or a mill. Those are jobs that need to be done. Those are jobs that make food and help people make a living and literally put bread on the table for some people. Literally. Well, all of us, actually. Anybody who likes bread. But it's cool. You really like gas station simulator? Yeah, there you go. It goes to show that, like, business management, doing it in the real world could be fun. Like, there's got to be a lot of people out there who started their own businesses because of games where they didn't think they could do it. But then they realized, like, wait a minute, I have some special talents for this. Like, I'm crazy. I got OCD. I'd be perfect for being a manager of a gas station. Let's go. Or jobs that you'll never get, like train simulator. Like, there's tons of people who are fans of trains who will never be an engineer. They'll never be a train engineer. But they know everything there is to know about trains. Or same with pilots, too. You know, like... Maybe some, maybe there's people who have disabilities or fear of flying, but they have no, they have no problem playing in the game, and that's that's cool, man. That more and more people get to enjoy their life because of games, and or simulate the things that they normally wouldn't be able to do. That's cool, man. And or cooperate. I'm never gonna own a farm with Harry, but at least we get to own a farm together in the game, and that's pretty satisfying. Damn, we've come a long way, man. Yeah, American Truck Sim. That's another thing, too, I want to make uh, an, an announcement on as well, is that uh, if you guys have American Truck or Euro Truck Simulator, I want to start playing uh, members-only streams. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a, maybe we'll do a couple of sign-ups, and uh, I'll put a thing out there saying, hey, I'm going to do an ATS stream two times this month and a Euro Truck stream two times this month. Like, sign up for, uh, like, two different dates in which you'll be available. And if you're not, like, we'll tr you know we'll try again next month, that type of thing. Because our members, trying to give you guys perks, too, of being in the streams and stuff with us when, when we have time. Sometimes I want to check out stuff alone. Other times, you guys are more than welcome to come along. Although, oftentimes, you guys don't want to always want to be in the streams, too. And, uh, like, in this right now, there's not really, it's not really too much to do. Like, we could definitely have somebody doing wind rowing. But, honestly, I think you should wait until there's, like, a, a big old wheat harvest. Or we do another big old... Uh, big uh oh I don't know I was going to say something in SnowRunner but that game is like painful sometimes but we can do it definitely need to uh, prepare for that you have a disability oh you had a disability when you were younger would always want to be a vet because your disability you can't yeah see there's games where you can be a vet out there you can manage a veterinarian office, make the money, manage the medications for the animals, and try to take care of them and keep them clean and happy. Yeah. Birds! Damn, this just looks beautiful. Looks like a damn uh, golf course. Does the grass degrade after mowing? Honestly, I, I think if you don't pick it up... You know, I don't know. Like, if we leave this here through the winter, I, I would imagine it would still be here. Unless the game does something to delete it. As if it decayed. I don't know. It would be kind of cool is if there was also like a golf course simulator as well that allowed you to create the the golf course 
like the uh, the clubhouse building and all the the holes and like actually maintain it and hire people to help out and stuff to maintain the grounds. <laughs> yeah, golf course ground maintenance simulator. Well, that's that's what Harry does for a job. Ah, the the boy just loves the boy just loves tractors and stuff. He's a good kid. Don't tell him I said that, but he's a good kid. But you got to give him a hard time, you know. Let him, you know, st stretch the uh, the seniority muscle a little bit on him. But you know, he's a good kid. Yeah, this game's brought some really uh, good good friendships together. It's good. Rick and Pinto's even played this too. Pinto was playing uh, Farming Sim 17 with us when the DLC came out for the South American DLC. That was cool. Lots of cool stuff. All right, so if you're just joining us, we've got a lot of cows on our farm. We got about uh, 30 of them now. It's not it's not a ton, but it's definitely a lot for one person to take care of. And what we're going to do is uh, we're basically cutting all this grass. We're then going to get a windrower. We, we probably actually should buy a bigger one, to be honest. That that small one's uh, that that small one's okay, but we we're gonna need a big one, I think. So uh, anyway, we're gonna bale up all this grass into uh, grass bales for eventually sheep that we're going to get, but also we have cows to maintain too. So we're going to uh, basically make a ton of food for these guys for the rest of the year and into the winter, and so they'll have something to eat for this first year. When you uh, play this game for the first year, you kind of just do things to have some, some stuff to fall back on, some extra food and uh, water and some other stuff to like, just basically kept, keep them fed and have stuff to drink, so. So that's going good. I also kind of feel like this could be a great, like, ski slope simulator game, too. Hopefully somebody does, like, a ski slope mod where we get to take care of the ski slopes. We've played those games before. Can we check the milk wow. before we use the, uh, the wind rower? I mean, only an hour has passed by. There's probably, like, another two liters of milk in there. We probably have, like, five liters of milk. <laughs> that's, that's enough to, like, make... Like three cartons of milk or something like that. Like maybe we could send a couple of two liters over there. Yeah, the first year is difficult because you have to kind of like accept the fact that you're like broke and don't really have a lot of equipment. But the more and more you play this, it becomes more and more satisfying. It's like it's like when you start to work out after a while and you, you know, at the start it's really hard because you don't see or feel that immediate um, results. But after a while, you know, things change and then you get you realize, like, oh, I've really made a difference. And so you keep on grinding at it, and it's very exciting. Yeah, the U.S. map is, uh, well, a lot of those maps are just kind of free-for-all, like... They kind of make it so that way you can kind of just... I don't know. You're, you're free to fail in this game. And uh, that's why the money cheat exists. So that way you can just do whatever you want. But uh, this game will kind of teach you about the, the freedom of failure too. You're free to succeed as much as you are to fail. So, what we can do next is we can buy some bigger mowing equipment and bigger uh, baling equipment. We'll, we'll just buy everything bigger so we have more uh, more stuff for the future. Now, uh, what happens if you fail in the game? Well, it's more like um, you kind of like max out your loan, really can't buy anything new, and you you kind of stun lock your farm where there's like there's not really much you can do anymore. Or you invest too much money in equipment, but don't have a lot of crops, so your expenses are too high. Yeah, I don't know what money is, though. We have, like, 42 of the money. We don't have a lot of it. We're broke, chat. Pog.
There we go. <laughs> yeah. We're bro broke, broke lad right now. Uh, I think Bradford would be into this game as well. Looks like we can mow it about 10 miles an hour. Or 11. I've been doing like 8. We'll speed it up now. We'll go max speed. I'm in no rush anyway. Like, do mowing lawn faster ain't gonna make us money. <laughs> We're still gonna be broke. All right, I think we'll just mow back and forth now. Yeah, making uh, making hay and silage and hay bales and straw bales and stuff is a lot of fun. Stacking it all up and putting it on a trailer and moving it around the farm is really fun too. We're probably going to need a uh, auto stacker or something, but we're not going to have that much money, so we're just going to have to make do. We still have, uh, we can still take out about a $500,000 loan, but, um, actually I'm going to cut that field too. Yeah, we can still take about a $500,000 loan out, but that's really enough for maybe two or three equipment, uh, things that we need. Yeah, I wish we could get a grant instead of a loan, but there are there are mods and stuff for money, but I don't know. If you're I mean, in this game, we're going to put in some work. And that seems to be more satisfying and fun. How relaxed am I doing this right now? Um Four? <laughs> Can you measure? Is there a way to measure relaxation? This is my uh, day spa. I'm at the day spa right now. Yes, we, we have the meaning of life right now in our bank account. 42. Now ah, we're getting done, though. Wow, this thing can do 12 miles an hour. That's crazy. What's the point of playing a game when you're going to use cheats to succeed? Well... Yeah, I mean, that question keeps coming up, too, where it's like, uh, if, if you bought this game and wanted to know what equipment was in here and wanted to get access to it right away, you could definitely just cheat it all in to see, like, what's it like? How does it feel? Is it Does it feel worth it to use? How does it compare to the other versions of the game? You know, you might... You, when you're playing this game, even if you're playing multiplayer with your friends, like, 
you, it's your it's your rules. You do what you want. Now, if we were doing a competitive farming thing where it's like, um, let's race to see who can get the most money. Well, then, yeah, cheating in money is kind of cheating, but it's kind of more of creative mode, I guess, where you can do what you want. Like, for example, when we do member setups, uh, in order to buy some of the big equipment, we need, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, obviously, cheating it in to the back end of the game is a little faster than, like, actually earning it, like, in real life. So, it's all good. For us, on, on YouTube and stuff, it's just about making, you know, we're, we're farming content for you all. So, the faster we can, uh, you know, grow those content crops, the faster we can harvest. So long as Mama Susan doesn't shut down the farm. GMO content, yeah, that's a that's a, that's a wo wa. GMO wa. Is content farming organic? Um, no, the algorithm does a lot of manipulations and stuff in the background, so a lot of it's GMO. But yeah, those days are gone. When the pa panda sneeze video or Gangnam Style went viral. Those were the ends of the of the viral days. Now it's got to be curated and grown in a lab. That's the way it works. Tastes great though. Hot chocolate time? Ooh, man. That's a good day for hot chocolate. We're almost done. We are almost done. You know, getting sloppy on that corner there. Uh, when you have a contract f uh, for fertilizer or sowing and spraying, if you use AI, it won't use up your consumables. Yeah, but you'll still have to pay the worker for the work. So it's like, do you want to pay for the fertilizer or do you want to pay for the worker? How cold is it today where I am? Um, that feels colder. I don't go outside, though. It's dangerous out there. There's birds and people. My two arch nemesis. Andrew, thanks for the 10, dude. Thank you very much for the big old crazy super chat. Woo! Thank you very much. I have a trailer with two dump bins, but I cannot empty the second bin. Hmm. Is there a way I can get all the contents out of the trailer and load into another? I am thinking the trailer is bugged. Well, you could, um... You could try to buy a, uh... You could try to buy a, uh... What do they call those things? The, uh, conveyors and try to dump it onto the conveyor to the next truck. What exactly are you trying to, what are you trying to dump? Oh, you, pu you push you to go to a second bin? Yeah, try that. It could have to do with your tip side. It also depends on what you're trying to use. Like if you're trying to, um, if you have like a, like a grain cart, if you have like a, like a pipe you might need to pipe out if you're if you're trying to take it from one thing and load it into a semi trailer but yeah try U or G oh we got a little bit more to mow this is the last section almost done unless you're using that double bin trailer yeah then yeah press G to go to the other or or articulated yeah yeah that's true yeah yeah, try G and U and let us know if it works. Oh. 
Man, this thing mows like a beast. Look at this thing grow. Woo. What's up, Joseph? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, if this tractor were solar powered, man, that'd be awesome. We'd actually have to keep driving so the battery didn't explode from all the extra energies we're getting. That'd be cool. Your dogs are unwrapping the Christmas presents already? Oh, man. I wouldn't even wrap Christmas presents till later. If I, if I had Christmas presents ready for anybody, I would uh, probably hide them and wrap like closer to the holiday. Now, that's for me, though. You're from Pittsburgh? Well, welcome, Joseph. Thanks for watching. Do first person the rest of the way? Uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I like third person, too, but we can, do, we can do a little first person. I wonder if it makes people car sick. Does first person driving games like make you guys sick or anything? I don't, I don't know if that's a thing. I wonder if that's a thing. Maybe motion sickness is... It is? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll try more third person for you guys. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't even think about that. Okay, we are coming close to the end of the Mo session. Wow. I did not think it would take this long, but it has been satisfying. We're going to have to spend a long time picking this stuff up, but it will be worth it. Where's our helpers at? Uh, North Pole. They'll be here soon. On the 25th. They'll be helping out on the on the night of the 24th. And we're done. Just a little bit over here. Pog. Well, that looks cool. All right.
We're going to need a different wind rower, that's for sure. A little tractor that could. Yeah, aren't those hills beautiful? This, this game is ridiculously beautiful. Okay, so... We could have also done it with this one. <laughs> if you thought that was hard, there's a harder way. We could even sell that thing too, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Alright, let's take out a loan, but first let's find out what we want for a tether. Because we're going to need we're gonna need something other than that. We can use that at the bottom of the pasture, but up top, no. We're not that crazy. We're crazy, but we're not that crazy. Alright, let's do wind rowers. Where are those? Grassland care. Ooh, we have rollers, too. Okay, so we've got the... Which one are we using now? Oh, this one. 3.4 meter, 3 meter, 2.5 meters? There's smaller ones? You gotta be kidding me. This one, I think, is the good one. This is one we want. 8.4, 4.7, 9.5... Hundred and ten thousand, man. This one's good though. Bum bum bum. Hmm. I really want this one though, cause it's cool. This one, but we could do the big, uh, the crone swadro. Uh, and it takes a ninety horsepower tractor. And this is a. 80 power. So let's see what our tractor has for horsepower. Hundred and thirty six, we can do it. Alright, so we have hundred and thirty six horsepower. Uh so that's good. Bum 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 bum. Let's check sales. Ooh. Oh, we have a bigger uh, trailer. All right, well, let's take out a loan. So that's 100,000 right there. And then uh, tedders. No, wind rowers. Let's try this Crone 41,000. We could also lease, too, but... This one's 9.5. This one's actually bigger than that one, and cheaper. I wonder what the details on this are. Oh, I think this one takes from left and right. Oh, that's right. This one, I think, allows you to... I think this one allows you to... Choose where you want to windrow. Like you can do left, right, or center. I think is that is that how this one works? Like I think this one has a conveyor belt that can you can you can dump all left, all right, or down the center. I think is that how that works? It is okay. This one we can do at eleven miles per hour. And this one's at nine. Oh, it does all three? Okay. Well, let's take the uh, cheap but smart one for the long run. Yeah, I think we'll go with the crone. We'll go with this one for now. We could also lease it. Let's do a lease, and then if anything goes on sale, we can get the better one when, when there's a sale. Maybe we should only buy things when they're on sale, but we'll we'll lease the equipment that we want to buy in the hopes that eventually it goes either into the discount box or uh, goes on sale. Well, let's go pick that thing up.
Uh, yeah, we're doing um, wind rowing first, then the. I, th I think our baler's okay. We could probably try to buy the bigger one, but honestly, those little those little ones are a little easier to store. Although, if I buy if I buy a bigger baler to make bigger bales, we're probably also going to need a bigger uh, bale trailer to get those out of there. So, I mean, buying more stuff just means that we're going to have to buy more stuff. I think the town's across the river. Oh, it's not. I'm hauling kids. I'm pulling the car around. Okay, we're good. I'll turn this stream around, chat, if you don't behave, okay? If we don't get up to 625 likes, I will turn this stream right around. You won't even know what happened. Yeah, we could sell the one we have for extra cash, but I'm, I'm actually going to use that one at the bottom of the hill, because that seems way nicer to get close to that road. There's some tight spaces at the bottom, and that's some that's some extra gas. Uh, yeah, grass, that means extra cash, yeah. That's alright, we'll do everything eventually. Soon. Now oh, we gotta drive cool now, we gotta drive cool. Let's drive at like 10. Gotta be cool. What? Damn it, I thought I dropped this thing. I'll just leave it at the store, it's fine. Do I want some updates on Uthris? Oh, is he having a fun... Oh, he, he's built a mansion already in 10 minutes. And, uh... Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, we'll leave our little one over here. Could you imagine if we did that whole hill like this? Like, you're crazy. We could... You see that deer? All right, let's get out of here. He apparently has a gambling problem. God. No one's going to win in blackjack. I learned the hard way. Uh, this one has a maximum speed of 9 miles per hour. At least when, when we're operating it. But right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drive at a chill 10 miles an hour just cause I... I just wanna chill. We're in no hurry. But after this, we're going to do baling, and then after that, we're going to load some more bales for the cows for the winter, so... We're going to take the rest of the day to do it uh, all for the cows. And look at those beautiful buildings up there, how gorgeous. Speed it up on the roads. There we go. Well, a lot of people out for a walk. Honk at the lady. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a lady. Hello, lady. Have a nice day. Click or tap join. Become a member. Smash like. Subscribe. 
Bye, lady. Make a dino, dino diner episode in this. Yeah, we definitely could, now that we can put down our own diner and stuff. We can build our own restaurant and whatnot. Alright, let's start in the back end of the field over here in the corner. And let's get this thing deployed. Do I use a steering wheel? I, I use a combination of keyboard and controller. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, Jonathan, thanks for the uh, six months as Raptor Plus. I uh, heard you say you use a controller and keyboard. Uh, that's the way to go. So much easier to drive than key keyboard some of the other controls. Yeah, it's it's nice. Like keyboard, you have a whole like set of buttons in front of you for all the extra stuff, and uh, controllers just. Much smoother drive. More satisfying. Wait a minute, what? Wait, how does this work? Oh, there it goes. Oh, so this one's going to pass it all the way to the right side. Got it. Okay. So this will push to the right. Okay. Okay. I can do 11 miles an hour, we found. Or, or 9. 9, yeah. Okay, so let's set that cruise control to 9, and there we go. Let the games begin. Well, the fact that we can do four rows at a time means that this is going to take no time at all. Like it's literally going to take us like five passes, maybe, which is nothing compared to what how long it took to mow it. Fast and Furious. Oh my god, we drifted. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was... Wow. Wow. I hope Owen Wilson wasn't watching that. This part's a little messy, but we'll we'll clean it up. Oh boy. Up. Oh, that's that's fine.
Nice. This is really going nice. Oh, thanks for being here, uh, Kazador. Thanks for watching the stream. Yeah, welcome again to all the new members, and thanks for subbing and smashing like you guys. Very nice. Hanging out with you guys is awesome, so... Thanks for uh, being here with us. Sorry, ma'am. Nice. 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 Alright, I think we can make an even bigger windrow. So I think we could stack this one over even more? Uh, could you put the mower on the front of the small windrower and do the same jobs at once? Um, maybe. We could test it out, but we can try that out next time. Uh, there we go. All right, so this is us stacking up like eight rows. A new member, welcome. What? A new member? Whoa. Spirited debate has become a raptor egg. Thank you very much. Oh, how many bales are we gonna get? Oh, that's a that's a good question, Chad. How many bales do you think we're gonna get out of this? My guess would definitely be somewhere in the high thirties, low forties, for sure. Like I, I would say, maybe like uh, maybe thirty-five. How about thirty-five? I think we should bale all this up, though. Is Farming Sim 22 moving better than Farming... Oh, mowing, mowing, sorry. Uh, well, there certainly seems to be more options for the uh, tools and equipment that you can use. Seems quite fun. Yeah, we're going to do grass bales, but we will definitely do hay bales at some time, too. We'll do hay, and we'll do... Eventually, we'll get straw going, and... You know, we'll need all that stuff for manure, and for feeding, and for silage, and... We'll, we'll do all the things. There we go.
Yeah, between 1 and 100. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. All right, let's keep moving it into the middle. Tractor really feels like it's struggling now. How big are these piles? Uh, I'm not going to go any bigger than that. These rows are pretty, pretty beefy. Uh, we have a round roller at the mo or a round baler at the moment, so these are probably going to end up rolling down the down the screen. Yeah, if we miss something windrowing, we can just easily go back with the baler. The baler is really like the uh, the end game of windrowing. Nice. Nice. Shane is name. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to all the new subs, too, by the way. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for streaming with me. Is there any advantage, disadvantage to lease over buy? Um, I mean, if you have the money, you just buy now and not have to do the whole leasing thing and whatnot. But, I mean... You know, in real life, it would be a little different. But I, I think it's just to give players more access to equipment earlier rather than waiting, you know, till you're a millionaire to get access to it at the end of the game. Wouldn't really be fun to be able to have to wait that long. I think this will be our last pass for bailing or for windrowing. Okay, so now um, I'm going to scoot over a bit and try to do some more windrows on the other side. All the hearts from chat, thank you. What's up, Gaming Penguin? How you doing?
No, stop. Tried to hire a worker. Oops, my bad. Uh, what is the big differences you see between this? Uh, probably that 19 is 19 and 22 is two numbers higher. And three numbers higher. Wow. Big differences between the two games? Uh, I mean, you know, the base farming sim is here, but it's also newer and has a lot of new stuff added and feels good. It's this, it's another big step in the right direction, but still I feel like they could be doing more to this game, but I mean, at least there's there's more here than before, so it's yet another step in the right direction for a simulator game. And anything that I don't like about it, I'm sure there's a mod for it that'll add or fix or remove something that I don't like that I can find later on, so. Do I feel like this should have been a DLC? No. No, it's, it's time to make a new game every once in a while. Farming Sim seems best with a, a new fresh game versus a DLC. DLCs are better for like a uh, truck sim or whatever. ATS Euro Truck, that type of thing. You wish I got the coffee mug? Yeah, me too. I, I would have loved to have uh, gotten the press kit with the hat and the coffee mug and stuff. Eh, maybe they'll end up seeing me cry about it and send me one or something sometimes. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. I would, I, to, In order to do that, I would have had to have done a sponsored stream. And, like, no matter what, I was going to play Farming Sim anyway, so it's not like they had to pay me or give me a coffee mug. But the coffee mug looked cool. If you haven't seen the hat or the coffee mug that they gave out, it looked pretty damn cool. Uh, Racer King, thank you very much for the 16 months. Wow, as a raptor egg. Someone's getting there. Almost to that blue eye, my guy. What machine is this? This is a uh, wind rower. It's a crone something. Well, we're all done with that for now. Although that looks hideous, that is uh, good enough for the bailer. So we're going to leave this here and we're going to go get the baler now. And I'll probably go get the forks too. What are we playing on? A uh, PC. All right, let's grab that bale fork. And we'll grab the baler. Uh, PC specs are in the description. Did they improve the driving? Well, I think I improved my driving by using an Xbox controller and also a keyboard. Uh, but you can, I, I think the game is, you know, the, the more equipment that you put into it, uh, the more fun it'll be too. It's like a Microsoft Flight Sim. Like, obviously, if you're using a flight stick for a flight sim, that's going to be a little easier. Just like how if you use a joystick in this game to operate a log crane or uh, a controller. Controllers just make things a little easier, so. Quite nice. All right, now it begins. The bailing. There we go. Pick those little legs up for now. There we go.
<laughs> Real farmers play this with a rock band controller. True. All right, let's begin. Chat, you're going to have to keep track of how many bales we make. Good luck. Four. I mean, seven. Uh-oh. <laughs> they shouldn't really roll that far. They're not, like, perfectly round. Oh, this is going to be a long day. How much are these rolls? Uh, typically $1.99 for combination pizza rolls. I think chat might have a plate of them ready to go. Chat always keeps them hot and ready. It'd be nice if we put a little, like, GPS thing in there, so that way it could just, like, find its way home. It'd be nice if we could put a little GPS ship in there, and it would just drive itself back to the barn. That'd be, that'd be helpful. But no. We gotta pick them up. We can barely go five feet now. I don't know if Farming Simulator 2022 is available on Switch. I'm not sure. I know it's Xbox and PC and PlayStation. Every time we open that back hatch, it's like we got a new member. Like somebody new clicked or tapped join, like... Who's the next person going to be coming out of door number three? Who's it going to be?
You had to subscribe to join the chat? Yes. Everybody in, this, in the chat is a subscriber. Which is probably a good thing, because it's like... I mean, if you want to chat for free, I guess you could subscribe for free. It's all its all part of my evil plan. I, I truly, honestly, only have like three subs. Everyone else just sub to, you know, be in the chat. Or accidentally. Alright, chat. I hope, I hope you're keeping track. I lost count long ago. Okay, let's keep trucking. You're playing ATS right now? I think it'd be so cool in ATS if we could like load some more of our cargo. I don't, I'm not interested in like dry van loading or anything, but I would like to be able to... If I went to like a, a farm and was going to load up with grain, it'd be cool to like pull up under the hopper or the, you know, the grain silo or... If I went to a mine, it'd be cool to, like... Oh, it'd just be cool to, like, take an empty trailer and see it actually loaded. And I know you can kind of do it, but, you know. It'd just be cool to see the animation. Alright, let's go. Long chill streams. Dude, farming sim is, like, I don't know. Uh, very therapeutic for a lot of people. And a lot of the chat comes to chill, so... Bring a winter coat if you're coming to the stream. Even if you're in, like, in Australia or something like that. And it's like... Well, a billion degrees. Just, you know, bring a coat. Oh, that one's going into the ditch. Oh boy. We got a long way to go. One dollar wage payment. What the hell? Who the hell? Oh, it must have been Pinto. That's all I'd ever pay him. Hi, Strobe. Ah, uh, Shrike, when you get this game, this will be a farm we work on together. Minimal effort farms. Not that we're lazy, but there's just not a lot going on right now. Oh man, it's gonna be a long day.
He's going to school. He's on his way to class. Oh no. Okay. Now, some of you might remember this period in your life. This might remind you of college. If that looked familiar to you. Or maybe not. It might be a little cloudy those days. A bit more to oh wow we got a lot back there Ooh. uh oh Uthra sent me a picture what could it be oh a beautiful house he built He built a very beautiful house in Lens Island. That's gorgeous. Oh, forgot to open it back up. Close it back up. Oh, hi there, Uthris. Just doing a little solo on the uh, Swiss farm today. And uh, boy, is it beautiful. I really like this land. And I've never done a cow farm before in this map. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm enjoying everything about this. Good times. Bales are gonna be everywhere, but it's okay. Oh boy. This will be fine. Oh yeah, this is ultra chill, yep. Good house that you made, proud of you. I thought you'd like Lens Island, I hope you want to play it some more. Heading to bed myself. Oh, giving up, oh, not a true gamer. That's nah, cool. Well, have a good night. Thanks for uh, jumping into our farm earlier in this little well, last weekend. But yeah. There's a bale on the road. <gasps> oh, you're... <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Oh, boy. All the way down there. I wish they would... Uh, I hope there's a mod to just, like, uh, just have the... Have the bales be a little more sticky. Like, roll, roll a little bit, but just, like, just for gameplay sakes, just, 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 just stay put. Chad, what are we up to for bales so far? I might have to call on reinforcements. Alright, with this one, what's the count? This one right here. What's that one? That's 31? Okay. Oh boy. Well, I think I guessed 35. I think somebody in chat said 34. I think they were pretty damn right. I could see us getting 33 and then like struggling to make 34. So that's pretty close. Lazy bail mod? Oh. I wouldn't even call that lazy. I, I honestly think that would be a little bit more realistic. I think they should roll a bit, but, like, they're not... We're not making tires or, like, perfect cylinders. They're just... It's just, like, round hay. Like, it'll, it'll roll like a flat tire. We did olives earlier today on our other farm. That was really nice.
That's the name of the mod. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. I feel like they should change the name though. It should be r r the real mod, the real, <laughs> the real bail mod. Something. Oh, some of these are gonna get caught in the tall grass. Oh man. Well, we're gonna have to count them, and we're gonna have to send out like a missing bail poster or something. Have you seen this bail? Some kids will be riding off with it on their bike, like how the kids tried to disguise ET on the bike. Uh, what's the current count, chat? Is it 33? Yeah, we'll have to call each one of these uh, bales Christian. Amen, brother. Damn, I should have stuck. I should have stuck up with like the forty. I can't remember what my first guess was. Like forty-two. Maybe it would be like how many dollars we had when we started. Yeah, the number in the upper right is how many bales we're probably actually gonna have to find. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that one's that one's gone. See you at the house. I should have aimed them all this way, though. If I was going to be smart about it. This YouTuber is out of control. Unliked and dissubbed. Yeah, some real crimes being committed here with my bail atrocities, but that's all good. Uh, hurry up, I came here to watch you play farm sim, not bail sim. Well, it's part of farming. Gotta feed them cows somehow. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Drank? Alright, let's take some drank. If it comes out to 42, that's gonna be hilarious. The answer was on the screen the whole time. We're at 39% of bail number, what, 40? 40? There's still some grass here. I think we can get to 40. I think we have enough to go to 40. Maybe. No. 
No. Oh, there's a bell down there. Well, uh, we're at 69. Nice. Percent. Oh. Nice. Uh, can we get a Discord sub for farm sim pickup games? Uh, I mean, if you guys want to advertise your servers and stuff in the Discord, go right ahead. Yep, that's cool. All right, well, we we're able to get to 72, probably 75. All right, we'll keep the bailer out here just in case we find more. Oh, boy. So what was what was that, chat? How many was that? What's our current bail count? What's our CB? What's our CBC? Thirty nine. Wow. I bet we could probably get forty. There's probably probably enough grass for forty. Is anyone else playing with me? Uh, just me at the moment. Just moi. Uh, why is it making that noise? Oh, there we go. It's like a glitch. All right, well, we got 40 bales. Holy crap. Uh, we might want to buy a bale trailer. And then we should be able to store them. Um, probably be easier than storing them on the ground. Wow, look at all, <laughs> look at all those bales out there. That's incredible. Um, I think we're going to need to auto baler. I mean, that's just, that's just insane. I, there's no way I could load 39. Could make silage out of them. Hmm. And this is for round bales, I believe. Yep. Yeah. 125 to 180. Nice bale trailer there for him. What is this thing? Oh, it's a stacker. Okay, um... Well, that's for the extendo. Oh, you can change the color. Like that one. Bale and Turner. Uh, 
Oh, does that turn it so it doesn't roll away? Hmm. Why do you want to rap? My name is Raptor and I'm here to say I like chat in a major way. I said a major way. Boy color is white. We play farm and sim tonight. It's cool. It's aight. Etc. Etc. Um. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, let me go ahead and do the, um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just do the auto grabber for now. Because I do want to store just a, just a couple of these. This is 50,000. That's pretty expensive. Leasing is 2.5. All right, we're going to try to keep it cheap. Uh, hopefully, once we finish with all this bailing, we'll have so much food for these guys. Like, we've done so much work at the start that... Like, hopefully we've done so much work that we won't have to, like, do any of this for a while. So I'm probably going to get a few of these in storage. And then we could probably do the rest in silage and then, like, sell them. We could make money from it, too. It'd be... I get a get a lot of money from them. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, did you say there was a video that explained the difference in cultivator methods? Uh, yeah, there should be a video out there explaining pretty much anything to do with, uh, like... Uh, pretty much anything to do with modifying the soil. Cultivating versus, uh, tilling versus plowing. How it works and why. I didn't say, uh-oh, I said, oh. I saw you were downloading it. That's cool. We'll be playing tomorrow, by the way, so if you uh, do that. Why don't you subsoil? I don't, I don't own any farm fields at the moment. You don't start with any fields in this map. Okay, so, let's see. Alright, so now we got... Wow, that's... Way bigger than I thought. I Wow. We bought one of these in our other game. That is way bigger than I remember that thing. Wow. Yeah, with almost 40 bales, we're, we're just going to need that. Oh, 
I like this map. It's refreshing from the American one. I like the American map, but, you know, it's nice to do something different in a different place. Uh, yeah, this works by basically, yeah, we, we can keep rolling while this thing auto-loads them onto the, uh, onto the trailer. So it essentially grabs them, stacks them, and then we can transport them to sell them or, uh, dump them off at our farm for storage. Quite helpful. Despite round bales rolling all around, they're, they're quite fun. Well, there's our first victims right here. Uh, oh. Thing got stuck underground. Yeah, the scenery in this map is literally... Bob Ross farming sim. No, that's a lot of damage. Yes. Wow, this is way more... This thing is way bigger than I thought it would be. Wow. Wow. Yeah, round bales are fun, though. Some of these we'll just have to get with the uh, tractor and then bring them back to the trailer. Oh, there was a, there was a, a bale right there. I didn't see him. There we go. Alright, one more set.
burbs. Okay. We're doing it, chat. We're doing it. Yeah, our cows are going to be... Like, we're literally making an all-you-can-eat buffet for the cows. Yeah. Not the greatest food, but... I mean, they'll be happy. Just look at that, man. Just take a second to appreciate that. That's beautiful. That is a gorgeous landscape, ladies and gentlemen. Is that a Wendy's? I think that's a Wendy's up there. I can tell we're going to have a little problem. I see. need a minor counterweight. We just add a little bit of weight to the back. That's all we needed. Hopefully this will balance it out now. See? Perfect. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, we're carrying 24 on the trailer plus 2 on the forks, so that's 26 bales. Uh, out of what? What was it? 39? I'm still pretty convinced we can make 40. If, if we clean all these bales up and drive around a little bit, I think there's enough grass remaining that we could probably pop out one more bale. Well, that sure as hell ain't going to fit uh, over there. So, uh, yeah, we could always cut more grass. That's true. Uh, we could we could actually lay that back in there, couldn't we? Because this thing actually... I was thinking that it was going to stack it vertically, but it actually lays it on the ground. It, it does a... Um, like a horizontal... thing. Oh boy, uh, that tire. No, 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 no. A little bit more, a little bit more. Mm 
That's better. Uh, I gotta get that arm around the corner, though. So we gotta go way out, actually. Unless... Is that just gonna clip through the... Oh, it just clips through. Okay. Alright, IRL, we would have to worry about that arm. But in the game, we don't. Yay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, maybe we do. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh god. No? Okay. Oh boy. Abort. Abort. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! 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 Okay. This is fine. This is fine. <clears throat> And perfect. Exactly as we planned it. Excellent. Um, no, yeah. that's a lot of damage! Yes. Um, that's fine. Now it's just going to take a whole lot of flooring. <laughs> and first try. Excellent. Couldn't have done it better if we did it correctly. We'll have Bradford clean it up for when he cut down all those trees and ranch them and lied to us. Okay. The mistake I made there was I forgot that the arm comes out when it goes to offload, so it, like, glitched through the thing. <laughs> it's fine. Oops. That'll buff out. Alright, where were we? Alright, so we dropped we just dropped off twenty-six bales. Oh, was it was the count thirty-nine? So what do we have here? Five? We have 31. Oh. Well, we got to go find um, seven more bales, eight more bales. There's got to be some along the along the house, and down here probably. Oh, there's one. Be able to spe spear it right there. Bum, bum, bum.
Oh boy. Is the tractor a 4x4? Four four? Uh, when four wheels are touching the ground, probably. How many more do I need, Chad? I I've completely lost count. Uh, we have five on the tractor. We have three here about to load. Uh, we loaded 26, right? So 26, 5, 3. So that's 31... We need five more after these? Okay, God. One next to the rock by the street, okay. So many birds in this one. They it's kinda cool how the birds fly around. They actually like feel realistic. I mean, they're, they're kind of an animation, but they feel more alive than ever before. Alright, one by the rock? Or did I get that one? Or the other rock? Wait. Back here? Oh. Yep, there's one there. There's some by the house? Okay. No, no, no. Okay, we should be able to grab these three, and then we'll swing around and grab that one by the road. So that means two more? Tires with weights? Yeah, we're, we're going to need some upgrades for this tractor for sure. Up. We'll take care of our cows first. That's fine. That'll buff out. That's fine. Do I like the round bale collector? Yeah, it's a handy tool if you want to keep your sanity. Yeah, I see any more. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> How did those get one? How did those ones get there?
Yeah, I'll drop one out for you guys for food. All right, you guys, this is Wendy's is here. There you go. Okay. Um, all right, how many are three are missing? Okay. Or presumed dead. The tractor is so nice for the tight turns and stuff. It's so helpful. My bad. Oh, really? The curb? All right, so then we'll deliver this one to the other cows. There's got to be more. This will be nice. This will probably disappear. Yep. All right, well, we're going to have to organize all these bales here that uh, had an accident, but uh, bail out, bail out, but we're going to uh, have to uh, find those other ones somewhere. We'll organize all those. All right, so the next thing we want to do is buy more sheep and such. Uh, we want to buy a sheep for the first time. Pretty much with all this food, with all these bales and stuff, we can easily feed them for quite some time. We did, we, we did quite a lot of work. So this should be more than enough food to feed all the sheep, all the um, whole rest of the year for the cows, I think. You saw one roll into the trees? All right, we'll, we'll do one last patrol. And then we'll store all these bits. We're going to make things look nice and neat. We're not going to just leave it like that. Sometimes we can goof around, but... Oh, we'll find those missing bales. There's no escape. One strong fence. Bailford. There we go. All right, so now we got extra food at the cows and we've got extra water around just in case let's go stack these bales we can make them easily nice and tidy again I think maybe we should put them over here Where did I get my farming license? I found it. That's going to be like a two-man op. I wonder if this... No, I can't.
This thing will need power. Wait, I got an idea. Hold on, chat. I have a big brain emote idea. Hold on. Hold on. This might be big brain emote. Might. Maybe. Are we going to convert the bales into silage? Uh, well, we'll have way more grass to cut. my work. I'm said you can't make potato chips yet. Oh, that's a ooh, that'd be a cool production chain. You could make a, you could harvest potatoes and then get sunflower, or uh, I mean, I guess you could get any oil, but it'd be cool if you could make the oil, like canola oil or whatever, or you know, that'd be cool. Can you lift the bales up by hand? Some bales, not these though. These weigh like a thousand, like a thousand, no, like 1300 or something. 3500 each. Man, what is up with Billy Knight tonight? Jeez. Chat, you're getting overwhelmed. The, the Billy's going for it. The Billy's going to win. Billy's going deep. Okay. Mm. 
Billy's running for the end zone. Punching, punching straight through Chat's defensive line. Oh, this this kid's gonna be in the NFL, or possibly make an NFT. All right, this will fix all the mess, and then we'll stack these up outside near the silage bin. And I guess in real life we could just easily put a cover on them. Like we could actually wrap these bales with like a like a tarp over the top. So I thought I could put them in the last uh, parking bay, but I guess we'll just do it this way. This is easy. Get everything nice and organized. So now, dude, the cows and the sheep are gonna have so much food. They're gonna have so much food. So now we're gonna be able to um, probably buy sheep next and start the whole production chain for sheep. So if you've not seen that, we're gonna start that. So that means we're gonna start making uh, wool and we can maybe try to like get cotton and stuff going, although that's kind of more of a North American product, but. Okay then. Very satisfying. It works. Hi, Chad. Billy Nelson oh, hi, here, Billy. and you're lucky I'm here. We are lucky. We will likely find bales around this farm for days after we're done here. Yeah, we also have a, a forge bin ready with uh, grass too, so... Like the clips and the clippings are way easier, they're just, you can only store them in the, in the uh, trailer. Stop, stop, okay. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I guess this is, yeah, this is a good organizational tr trick. You know, actually, this is a good idea. If, you, if you've got a few um, fields to do round bale wise, and you're going to end up with a lot of little round bales in different areas. Rather than bringing the trailer around, you could just you could just bring them to your farm, your base, dump them off, and then stack them up later. Yeah, we're making a vegetarian burrito. Uh, JP Lisco, thank you very much for the five. Happy birthday, Raptor. Lol. Thank you, dude. Happy birthday, Raptor Lol. It is in a few months, chat, so if you want to get started with those happy birthdays, go right ahead. You have until March. Does the old tractor have a PTO? I think it could take any vacation time it wants. It's worked long and hard enough. Yeah, if it wants a day off, it just call in and let us know you're going to take the day off. Grass has to be picked up in a specific trailer after you cut it instead of bailing them? You mean like this trailer? True. But you can also uh, bale grass to feed it as grass. It just, you can just, it's a lot more easy to store or to stack up. This is working really well. We've done fantastically. So what I'm going to do is, once we offload all the 
once we offload all the bales here, I'm just going to stack another uh, level of them behind it. So, and if we could in real life, we'd put like a tarp behind uh, over the top of them, so that way we'd have we'd have tons of bales, just ready to go. Um, okay. Tractor, be good. Tractor, you behave. It gets hungry. You gotta watch out when it when it gets hungry. Uh, but you can't put it in the silos? Oh, no, no. Well, that, you, you store bales, or you can store it in a tipper trailer. Like, a tipper trailer is a good way to store, because it's always ready to just basically be offloaded at any time. That'll work. Sloppy, but you could see we tried to do it right the first time. Now we got to do it the gamer way. Bypass and workarounds. Okay, careful. I don't want to get my finger bitten off. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean about pu putting them next to where the, ga the fuel tank is. We could do that, too. But I think I'm going to stack them next to where we would put silage, because I don't think anybody's going to drive around there. We're getting there, though. We're about ready to see that magic moment. Everything being all nicely stacked up. Now we'll just straighten it out and stack it up. Right there. Amen, brother. Brings a tear to my eye, brother. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Is that the stars and stripes? Because I'm crying, brother. Amen.
Now we can just do it from the other way. Amen, brother. Yes. That'll work. Amen, brother. Hey, chat, you want to find out? Should we find out who's new in chat? Should we? You guys want to find out who's new? We can put everybody through the new subscriber test. What do you think? How new are we talking? Oh, we're talking like new. Let's try. <clears throat> uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of things I really like about this game. Yeah. The only thing I think that might be missing, though, for, like, newer players is, like, ways to earn extra money. Like, it'd be... It'd be, like, a really cool feature if they had, like, some sort of a... I don't know, like a... Scavenger hunt or an Easter egg hunt or something like that where you could, like, earn money doing it. Like, items that you could gather over the maps. Like, every it would be cool if every map had, like, something hidden on it. That you could, like, gather, and if you... Like, different sets, and, like, if you found enough of them, you could have, like, uh... You could find out, like, you know, oh, hey. If you get two more trailers, man, you'll get $100,000. Like, it'd be cool if they put that into the game. That'd be a really cool thing. They should call them, like, gatherables or something. Gatherables or, like, items of interest. An archaeological hunt. And they should look like... They should look like... Like models of tractors. Like miniature models that you can gather. Yeah, pick up yeah. That'd be really cool. They should put that into the game, because obviously it's not currently there. But it'd be an awesome new feature that they could include for the first time. Hi, new people. Good to see you all. Well, nice to have you all here. Collectibles would fit better? Maybe. But I like my idea better that I just came up with. It'd be also cool if this game were multiplayer. And available on Xbox and PS5. Do 
Do the tractors have horns? No, they're tractors. They're not cows. This guy. There should be a game that like simulates the growth of plants by industrial vehicles. Like they should call it Industrial Revolution Modern the Game. Agricultural Edition. I think that'd be a really like a really good title. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool if, like, there was a button next to the subscribe button where you could, like, click or tap it in order to become, like, a uh, like a super mega ultra supporter. And then you could become, like, a, a raptor mega member. Oh, yeah, there you go. A mega. A raptor mega member supporter. That'd be awesome. It'd be cool if they had that. Mega Ultra Deluxe with cheese. Boy, Operation Cleanup's going well. I wasn't just going to leave that like that. Shame we can't tap it more than one time? Well, it'd be really cool if like you could make multiple accounts and then like be a member on all of them or a super supporter, whatever they would call it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look for any missing bales. Let's do it this way. This will be easier. We're going to go into zoom mode and see if we can find any bales. Any by the fence? Chad, if you see one, let me know. Any roll down here? We're going to find one like 63 episodes from here. Be like, we only mowed in the first episode. How did that get here? Oh, there's one. Okay, we found one. Two. Two of them. By the house. Okay. And you guys said there was like three missing. So that means, I think... I think that means there's just like one more out there. So... Alright, let's go get those. You were here an hour ago and I was still busy with the bales. Where were you? I want answers. Three total? Okay. Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. You saw three by the fence? I see two. Oh, yep, there's the third one. Okay, we got all three. Alright, so they're all by the fence. We got him. I'll drop this one over the fence. All right, boys, we got them all. Damn. That's got to be all of them, right? And remember, we we drop like three into the uh, into the cattle area, so I think that's all of them. Wow, we did it! Oh, 
That's one. Oops. Hey, we got him. Yeah, we got the one by the boulder by the road. Holy crap, a new member? Ah, Lane 4 Gaming, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Alright, we'll grab that last one. Man, I love the turning radius on this tractor. It's so good for um, grabbing bales and stuff. It's definitely going to be one I end up keeping. Damn it. Thurston, move your bike. Oh my god. Alright, that's it. I told him for the last time. Damn it. Oh my god. I should start a real farm as much as I play this game. Brother man, we're farming content right now here on Content Farms. I'm not letting that damn bale get away, there's no way. No way. All right. Like a frickin' glove. Oh, that was... Oh, that was beautiful. That was... Oh. <sighs> beautiful. Alright, now, let's go see how much the cows have for food and such, just to get a little idea here. Alright, so they have 11,250. This bale here, I think each of these bales are 3,500. So, if we stack two bales in front of there, we can get about 7,000 plus. But I mean, that that's a hell of a lot of food. I, I don't know how much they're going <coughs> to 
<coughs> eat per month, but we'll probably have to feed them each day. So, what we can do is we can just come over with the... We can come over with the tractor, grab a bale, drop it off, and come back a couple of times. Ah, this music's just a playlist, yeah. Yep, we've done grape farming. We just did all of farming today on our other server, which was pretty amazing. And we're going to do a big old wheat harvest, too. So, members, make sure you tune into that and uh, be a part of that one. All right, let's drop these off. And return this thing. Confirm. Hey, man, brother. A damn tractor pull. How do I join the Discord? Check down below in the description. True. Okay, let's park this thing. Alright, let's return our lease. Well, I guess leases, right? We have that windrower to return to. Alright, I should be able to return this before chat gets to uh, 800 likes. There's no way. No way chat will get to 800 likes, no way. No way chat's going to get to 815 likes before we... No way you guys will get to 815 likes before I get into town. 825 is just way too lofty of a goal. There's no way it's going to happen, chat. And even if chat did get to 825 likes, there's no way they'd get to 835. There's no way. It's just too lofty. Way too high. Unobtainable. Alta altitude unreachable. No way. No way, chap. Alright, let's drive into town all nice, like. It's a beautiful day. Let's enjoy the weather. Okay. All right. Sorry, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. It's a beautiful day. Was that ranchero music? What the... Eight seventy five you say chat? No. Uh no, there's there's no way chat could no. Eight hundred and seventy five likes would be like that's like building a colony on the moon. It would be impossible. Okay, so now we just delivered this.
And we gotta go get the wind rower too. Gotta go get the wind rower. Oh, I guess I'll grab my little wind rower while I'm here. And we'll grab the bigger one and return that too. Return. Does this thing really sit on the ground or can we pick it up? Oh. I guess it just rides on the back wheel, okay. Hi, sir. Renter's insurance? Hell no. Alright, well now we've gathered enough stuff to feed the cows for like a million years. And then we can start transporting the milk to the dairy, well the cheese factory or the uh, chocolate too, so. Greetings from Colombia. Well, welcome. Thanks for watching. All right, last thing, chat. We got to make one more return. So bumpy there. You like our hoodies? You're gonna wait. You talking about buying one of our Dino Diner hoodies down below in the description on our Teespring store? That'd be fantastic. Thank you very much for the support, viewer. Appreciate that. Wow. Uh, is the store... Oh, crap. I forgot where it is. Oh, it's up here. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's that.
And that's that. Wow. Well, the paint condition is bad, but, well, not that bad. I wouldn't expect something that scrapes the ground to really maintain its paint for too long. What's that? 875 likes? No, chat. Chat. Unobtainable. Unobtainable. There's no way. You may as well say 900. There's no way that 900 people watching right now would reach over and turn that thumbs up button blue. There's no way, dude. There's no way. There's no way, dude. There's no way, chat. Not happening. This is like the music on the weather forecast channel. Today's weather will be sun in the sky. Whoa. That guy died. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to need the bale forks anymore. Well, yeah, we will to feed the cows in the next month. But there's still plenty to do, plenty of equipment that we could buy. We did mow... So let's see here. So this is part of our land, too. So we pretty much mowed all this except for this hill. And then there's a hill here that we didn't mow either just because for the bales it was just going to be a nightmare. And all that down there, so... And there's a few spots of grass left in which we could probably make a bale out of. Thankfully, we have a baler, so that's good. Um, so that's really good. Man, this barn would be really nice to be able to build anywhere we wanted. There we go. Alright, so we're probably going to get manure from these guys too, eventually. But now we got to figure out... Okay, so the next goal really should be to buy land. And then maybe put sheep down. Although we'd have to move our cows to do that. Oh, look at all those bales, baby. That's nice. If we're going to build sheep... Ah, oh man, I don't know. We could actually build it down here and keep the area up here for all the all the food. What's up here? Just more land? More land to mow. And we can start with a small sheep barn like here. And that would be 51,000. Oh man. Now we could try the big one. If we're going to go big, we may as well go big. And they'll take uh, hay or grass. There, That's easy. And cows will take uh, hay grass or... T oh, silage too. Or total mixed ration. Which is kind of part of that. So we could eventually do cows down here. Amber, welcome. We could eventually do cows down here and then more sheep up here. And then we could probably leave these little pastures up at the top. I feel that that's just not really nice for the cows overall. They should have a barn. Willie Thompson, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome. So I think we'll build sheep over here. This is a good spot to start. And we'll start with the 97,000. Build it parallel to the road here. And build it... Actually, build it parallel here. And we can build it off in the distance a little bit. And then what I could do is probably build like a little storage area here for all the... Um, I'll need a tra I'll probably need a bale trailer to sit down there, and then every month we're gonna have to just offload because they're probably gonna make wool. And actually, what's the sell price for wool, or what's the month for wool? Wool gives us the highest price. <coughs> Let's see. Where is wool? So wool's highest selling price is in May. So we'll have months and months and months to uh, produce that. What about milk? 
October. All right, so we'll go a couple months with the cows. We'll probably have to wait a year. So we'll, we'll hold on to all the milk that we get. In this case, 37 liters. So, and that's just today. So this could be hundreds of liters. And these guys make milk too. Not yet, but... Uh, their health is 0%. But they have food and water, so I assume it'll just take time for the health to increase. So we'll get their health up. So we got we got 30 cows, some most of which are making milk, not all of them. We'll sell the ones that aren't making milk, and we'll go straight dairy. Then we'll start exporting dairy for um, the cheese factory or the chocolatier. And then we'll start working on those sheep. This is a nice storage area, too. I don't think I can put anything there, though. Whatever this is, we can delete this and then put a building here. Or more storage. Yeah, the cows will need minerals. They'll need... Well, the TMR, I think, is the only way to give them minerals. I don't think you can give that to them any other way other than in the t part, of t part of the total mix ration. Then I want to go take a look at Sheep World. Where the hell is the uh, area with the sheep? Yeah. Yep, so we can do a sheep paddock down there. And then eventually we'll buy this land, which is big enough for the cows too. And then with that field next to it, we can do some other stuff too. Wow, this is a lot of land for cows. I'm pretty sure, though, with our current, um, with our current, um, grassland, we could probably feed the sheep and the cows now. Like, the 30 cows that we have, plus how many sheep are we gonna get? Let's see, the sheep number would increase to, what was it, 45? No, 65. Yeah, 65 would be the large one. That should be more enough. TMR is sold at the shop. Uh, that's probably going to be really expensive. We want to be self-sufficient if we're going to make a profit, so we got to do it ourselves. Or hay. We could also do hay. Um, and we didn't even mow this whole area. Like, there's still a lot more area we could mow. But worst case scenario, we also have a um, we have a a bin ready to go to. I'm pretty sure we can mow from areas that we don't own. Maybe not, but we'll have to experiment on that. Probably tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm going to head out of here. It's been another five-hour stream, five and a half hours, so I'll be back tomorrow in the morning for maybe more of this or maybe our uh, team farm. We'll, we'll see what the boys want to do. Uh, Harry might be around, but Jerry probably won't, and neither will uh, Rick, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. But we'll switch between the farms, and uh, from here on out, I love this farm. So we're going to continue on the dairy farm and content farms at random, so... Um, yeah, whenever whenever the guys leave or whatnot, I could I can jump over here and do this alone or with one other person, maybe Shrike or something, and then we can go back and do something on the other uh, member farm. And then on Saturday, I think we should do a big o crazy uh, wheat harvest. So we'll do um, a bunch of uh, wheat. We'll do a big o wheat harvest setup, and everyone can come join us, all you awesome members, and we'll we'll need all hands on deck. We'll try to get sixteen people in for one of our biggest harvests ever in Farming Sim Twenty Two. You guys have been awesome. Thank you very much for smacking the like on the way out. Thanks for subbing and turning on the notification bell. Thanks for becoming members. Thanks for being active in chat. Thanks for being wonderful. Thanks for watching Farming Sim. And uh, I love playing this, so I'm glad you guys love watching it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I gotta go. Dude, you're getting Adele. <laughs>